Welcome to another episode of the Bastard Sermon. This is one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker, Patrick Seda, and Luke Young. And today we've got on Rachel Morrison. She's been on several episodes. You guys are familiar with her. And we've got on Alex Haskett from the Cincinnati Tattoo Studio. Give it up, motherfuckers. Woo! Woo! Yay! Yay. Thanks for coming on. We really yeah. appreciate it, you guys. Thanks. Oh, yeah, really quickly, before we get into any topics, people that are watching on YouTube, you're not going to see Rachel because she didn't want to be on the camera. So she's behind the camera right now. But you'll hear... Finger of shame. You might see her head pop up Cody, randomly. Can I be honest with you? You really startled me in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was because it's because this fucking program that I'm using to like get the video from the podcast, it doesn't tell you that it's recording right away as soon as my like audio program does. So I'm like, hold on, wait, is it working? And I'm wondering if I have to shut it off. And as soon as it popped up, I was like, oh fuck, I gotta do the intro. So, I watched her so, my sorry. Back, where sorry. She's like, <laughs> yeah, you look very startled yourself. Because he home. just got real loud real quick. Do you get scared very easily? No. Like, you could watch horror films and you won't. Yeah, that's nothing. I do... But if you see a germ. <laughs> Who sees germs? They're, they're everywhere. They're so <laughs> like, gross. what if there was a dog sized germ? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it wouldn't be a germ at that point, Pat. It, it would be a it would eat you. multicellular but... organism. It would be one cell. Just one <laughs> big cell. <laughs> one big yucky cell. So in this universe, we're shrunk. No, it's we're the same size. Okay. Same size, just normal germs the size of Dobermans Ooh. or Great Danes. <laughs> How and do what do know? they do to you, Pat? Do they absorb you they and do, melt you inside their bodies? They like, do germ things. How Are do you there multiple? kill them? They're they probably multiplying. They do germ things? Yeah, they do germ things. You know, absorb... Is energy be like in the end of all people? Yeah, in fact <laughs> well you know what what germs do yeah. live in dirty places <laughs> germs absorb energy <laughs> don't walk down a bad alleyway you might run into a dog sized germ <laughs> Man, for, I, for I, need, I need to go to a corner store and get some germ batteries real quick <laughs> Anti-germ spray. For context, you know, for the like, listeners, the reason we're talking about this is before the mics came on, Alex was telling us that she's, like, scared of germs. So if you're scared of germs, are you scared of, like, doctor's offices and, like, yeah. go into, like, go see the doctor and stuff like or that? planes. Y- what in doctors? Well, I'm scared of airplanes, but that's not even... But not because of germs. Fucking yeah, no, not airplanes. because of germs. But, yeah, you're more likely to get sick in, like, a doctor's office than, like, you are to get sick in a tattoo studio or anything like that. Right. So the tattoo studio is extremely, extremely clean. Oh yeah, um, and a hospital is it? Every time I go to a hospital, I get sick. Like yeah, I'll, really? I'll go in totally fine, and then come yeah, out with sick. With a plague. Same. No, well, yeah, the plague. <laughs> <laughs> a plague. That's because I think because like they don't regularly sanitize. The it's because who, who goes to the hospital? Yeah, like sick, sick people, people and sick people, and broken they people. They sit in the waiting rooms, and you and can't catch the broken, so you're right. gonna catch the ick. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Do you think totally the doctors and the nurses get sick a lot? No, their immune systems are already up from dealing with sick people all the time hmm yeah it's very interesting it's like pharmacists don't get sick as often either because of that <laughs> sorry and like kirsten I... kirsten gets sick a lot too um but like she's the piercer she is our piercer yeah yes. so she she handles a lot of the front so she gets sick a lot in the beginning of like flu season and stuff yeah. and then after that fine it, but like then she gives it to the rest of us dude is there ever a piercing that occurs i know you're a tattoo artist and not a piercer but is there ever a piercing that occurs where there's like a spray of blood like you, you fuck up a piercing and you hit a vein or something does that ever happen uh, I don't know, have you ever heard a me. horror story i mean yeah i mean yeah who hasn't like, i mean you work in a tattoo yeah, shop so i'm wondering say there's been a couple of times like somebody will move and then the piercer hits them once um they move out of the way so then they got to hit them again and there's like two piercings right next to each other, and it just an Ooh. immense amount of blood. Tyler bleeds a lot, like a lot. They complain about it. No, I, I mean I'm a bleeder <laughs> when it comes to tattoos. I bleed like crazy. It's just so wild. Uh, yeah, it's wild getting tattoos and bleeding like that. I mean, we it's got just a holy. bleeder. We got a bleeder. Yeah, I gotta wipe that shit. Alex out. was your introduction to body modification, wasn't yeah. she? So, oh no. So I think I was 19, and you were working at Avalon. Oh. So a long, long time ago. So uh, 2009. Yeah, like I think right, I was right out of high school when I got in there, and you pierced my ear, and it fucking hurt like hell, dude. But that's because I was a bitch. <laughs> that could also be because I'm not very good at piercing. You were doing it over there for a while though. How long were that you piercing for? <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> Tell I pierced from I pierced from 2007 until uh, 2013. Are so. you saying you pierced my re- my ear incorrectly? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> on, I'm just kidding. Are you like, putting her on the spot on the whole internet? No, right like, now, no, kidding. real tea. The reason I stopped stop piercing is because I'm just not good at it. It's, yeah, it, it's so yucky. What have you? What have you? I mean, what's the weirdest thing you pierced? 
I mean, you name a body part, I've pierced it. If you can butt cheeks together. No, that's that's not gonna hold up. <laughs> no, no toe. That's so weird. wait, you pierced dicks before? <laughs> yes. What is that like? How yeah. crazy is that for um, the dude? Do, you, do they have to have a, a hard penis? No, that's a myth. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want that at all. It's too much blood. But I've only done one dick piercing. So and it was just the start. Yo, what was that? Ladder. How does that work? Tell me about the Jacob's ladder. What is that? It's where you get several different piercings down the shaft of the penis. Well, then I only did one. Dude was done after that. Like that's it. God. Whereas I was walked Oof. through it. How does Good it go through God. and not like hit the urethra or cause like a serious infection? Like your dick gets, gets dirty. I mean, it just does. It's a dirty part of your body. Like <laughs> shmagma. It's like piercing your asshole. How do you keep it? You clean? get shmagma. You don't get shmagma. How do you not get infection from a dick piercing? <laughs> well, like you're not you're not time. allergic to like your own pee or anything like that. So like, I mean, yeah, I sweat, but, but what? you can't cut yourself and piss in your blood and be fine. Like I'm sure it's gonna create infection eventually. <laughs> hold on, question, but why the fuck would you piss on your on an open wound on you? <laughs> that's say that's I'm kind of a silly that's, picture. That's, yeah, that's essentially what he's talking about. Like pissing on your dick piercing. I don't like this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. More, bastard service. More pissing on dear dick piercings, if we could, please. Um, yeah, but you're not you're not gonna get anything from that. Um, just because obviously your body is used to yourself. So like you think about any any body part. If you have a cut, if you're gonna sweat in it, it hurts, but it doesn't really do anything. You know, dicks are essentially the same thing. They don't really get much. They have the regular, you know, old bacteria. But like and and, 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 and <laughs> regular old yes. dick cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it, it was whatever. Like he was gay and it was one and done. That's it. That why would you want to get your penis pierced? Like why do people do it? Dudes think that it's gonna help their dick game and it doesn't. Like it. <laughs> chicks, but where? What's chicks their don't evidence? Like it. Like what? They have to find the evidence first time, first hand before they are able to actually like commit to the idea. Most men are given information from other men who are totally wrong. Like, dude, <laughs> I got my dick pierced. That's so accurate. It that feels is so much better. I got all my sex information from. It was yeah. never a reliable source. It was some dude in middle school. Like, when I was first, like, <laughs> it was just somebody that had also also a virgin didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, giving me yeah, shitty advice on what to do. you stuffed balls inside of her, too. <laughs> yeah, dude, then you pee in her. Like, <laughs> Don't pee in her. She loves pregnant. it when you pee in her. And then she bars up a baby. <laughs> it's always some shit like that. What, did the dude cry after he got the dick piercing? No, but it was just like, all right, goodbye. Like, yeah, I'm ready to be done. done. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm ready to be done. How many are there normally in one, like a Jacob's ladder? Depends on the size of the dick. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's say it's How a micro penis. Can fit? <laughs> maybe okay. one, you know, maybe one and done. That would probably clip the whole, like, yeah, urethra in whole there. Dick. No, it's the skin. So you're grabbing the skin. You're not grabbing, like, the urethra. You're separating the skin from the urethra. So, so micro dicks are probably not looking to get that stuff. So let's say you're it. uncircumcised. They're not looking for bling for I've their tiny dicks. I've never pierced an uncircumcised dick. But um, you think that they would have more, since they have more skin on their uncircumcised penis. They might be more sensitive to it. I know that, like, foreskin on uncircumcised dudes is, like, more sensitive or something. I don't have a wiener, so I don't know how this <laughs> stuff works. <laughs> Good point. Well, let's fill her in, boys. Well, no. <laughs> so, how many uh, vaginas have you pierced? Uh, I don't know. A lot. Okay, so, okay, a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Interesting. I used it, to know this crazy girl that would pierce clits specifically out of a house. What? And Excellent. she would... She had like cell phone pics, like in the days where you should definitely have a smartphone by this point. She's got a, like these little flip, like flip phone. phones. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said Jesus. cell phone. Uh, flip phone pics of like all these mangled clits that she had done, and it was always Ugh. like the mangled. labia. Well, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't know. It was the worst vaginas of all time ever. It, it just looked like like the labia was on by their knees and but shit, and it's got like a piercing <laughs> somewhere. Like they claim it's a clip, but it looks like a, a thumb mutant growth. Mut like I just assume it's from the infected <laughs> piercing that she'd give out. My friend was like fucking her at the time, and she was in, like batshit crazy, and would like she would sit on the bed and like talk about how every every part of reality was it was just a dream, man. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stab one of you guys to figure out if it was real. I was like, I'm not. I'm not, I've never laid my hands on a woman, but if you pull a knife out and come your crazy ass at me, I'm going to fucking end your life right now. Like, I've seen what you do to vaginas. I don't want to see what you're going to try to do to my face with this knife at this point. Are you, what the fuck? 
Yeah, so I, I knew a girl that pierced also, but pierced many vaginas as well. But it wasn't in a. Any you knew a girl that mutilated vaginas, yeah. not, not did, pierced them. Is that all she things. did? Was like that's just her thing. She pierced vaginas. She didn't actually go into a shop to do anything. Yeah, I specialize in destroying puss. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's exactly. What <laughs> exactly. Why that was pretty much vagina. Her, I don't know. Thing, I mean, it was like, her thing, I guess. I don't. She never pierced ears. What a she never had a fucking like a dermal piercing that she was gonna show me. It was always like and another clit and another clit <laughs> and like another. Scrolling clit. through. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she never did those. She just downloaded them off the internet. No, it looked like she did them because they were ruined. I mean, uh, nobody downloads terrible looking vagina they were pictures. Ruined. Like ruined vaginas with ruined piercings on them and shit like that. I want to <sighs> like I want to meet the clients because who are these people trusting? They look like Igor. They were all trashy meth people. I mean. They're Oh wasn't good they're all bridge people nobody gets a clip piercing in a house that isn't a trashy meth person I'm so just gonna put that in the world right now price hill is known <laughs> to have a couple of addicts here or there <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, few. <laughs> just one, one or two, two. <laughs> out of the thousands or millions of people that live in this whole fucking tri you talking about my fucking block pat yo i grew up over there too boy <laughs> you talk about my family pat how dare you sir yo i, I understand i lived on those streets i understand but have you had any fucking drug addicts yeah, come always, this, like, like what's can you give me some stories where you're just like one of the what most, the fuck is going on here? Say one of the most recent ones was that a man came into the studio and uh he asked us if we sold like pipes and bongs and stuff and we don't, we're not a head shop, Glass so roses. whatever. Well then he tells our piercer that he's like, Well don't worry, I'm not gonna smoke marijuana out of it. I'm gonna use it for crack. And then he oh, left. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, like, Kirsten's no like, oh, no. I was worried about the marijuana intake, but crack, I mean, completely fine with me, sir. Smoke away. Or, like, because we're in the studio, since we're really accepting of all different types of people, they think that they can be open about these things to us. And I don't want to hear about your, like, you know, heroin addiction or anything like that. Like, you keep that. You be addicted yourself. Like, don't show it to me. <laughs> Get the fuck out. It's like, yeah, like tattoo parlors are a criminal safe haven, almost. Yeah, that's pretty much what people think it's fucking but it's weird. not 1990 anymore <laughs> right. where that shit is like considered that so our it's kind of fucked up our tattoo studio is pastel purple and like mint green what makes you think <laughs> we want to hear about that they're well, reputable probably the colors now they're all considered reputable businesses because they are for the most part i mean there's a couple of like shithole spots here yeah. and there or whatever well, we have families you know like yeah. we're regular people we're not like you know the pirates and you know things that were tattooing all of our well a lot of tattoo their faces now but I mean, like, we're not all doing that. But even if you are, we're not that like, isn't... Well, we're not all hanging out in bars and beating up people like people expect us to be doing. Like, There's not we, the same social stigma on tattoos as yeah, there used to literally, be. Literally, I'm going to leave here, I'm going to go pick up my kid, and I'm going to cuddle him. I feel like it's <laughs> weird nowadays if you don't have a tattoo. It definitely is. You're the minority. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. If you don't have a tattoo <laughs> or a body modification, like, you haven't lived, really. You haven't really... You, I would assume you you're the same person that calls marijuana dope. You know? You're that kind of guy. I mean, I call... Um, the marijuana I smoke dope sometimes too. Yeah, so <laughs> do I. Or the pot. Yeah, this fucking dope yeah, is Patrick. dope. This is a good pot. I that's that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> say grass. I, I say all this kinds This is of the goof. best but marijuana like cigarette when you say, I've ever had. <laughs> when, when you're calling it like dope, you're putting like kind of like a, a stigma or a stereotype on it. I feel like that, it's just my opinion on it, but I'm just thinking it's the it same kind of people. It feels like you're referring people. to it as drugs. I feel like yeah. Can you uh, pass that dope for me? There yeah, yeah. I, I can give you some dope. I mean, I'm ready to dope pack boy. some more dope. No, but, just a yeah. le- this is tobacco. We're kidding, of course. Yeah, of course. Listeners. Tobacco we would never do only, dude. Never really smoke weed on the internet. Don't dare. do that, kids. You got to do it's dare. Illegal. Why did you go through that? dare? I did. I did. Rachel, did you go through dare? Yeah. How'd you guys feel about that? I mean, I don't do anything. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke marijuana. I don't. I barely drink. Mm-hmm. So uh, I went through dare as a kid. <laughs> so I, I did too. K <laughs> through no. eight. Successful. No success for dare. I'm just I'm too poor for you know a habit. <laughs> I feel that, but I went through dare as a kid, and I've done every drug except for like heroin, crack, and meth. Like I don't, I can't think of a drug that I haven't done outside of those three. Those are like the, the holy trinity of he fuck sn- your life up. Sniffed and shit. paint and huffed glue. <laughs> I've done some inhalants, yes. <laughs> But Dare never helped. It, it didn't help me. I mean. It, it just gave you, like, names of things to do. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's that? That sounds interesting. They're telling me not to do it, so I really well, want to do it now. Well, I probably I never would have heard of it if I, they didn't say it. Or, like, the weird <laughs> the, yeah, the weird kids that wore fanny packs were the ones that were like, we're not going to do drugs. And you're like, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a freak. <laughs> be a dork forever? No way. Well, I fucking... I still had a... In, going into to high school at Coleraine, I still had some sort of weird... Uh, mindset towards marijuana be uh i had only like just given up on my faith 
like two years prior. I feel like I went through know? the same shit, but go uh, on. yeah, I like and and I still had a, a you know, I, I didn't want to fuck with it, but I had someone who was just so adamant about it, pure pressure, and I was like, you know, why not give it a shot? And I did it, and I immediately didn't realize what the whole hubbub was. And then a few years later, I tried mushrooms. And then at that point on, <laughs> I was like, quickly. yeah, <laughs> yeah. after mushrooms, I was like, Th- they're lying. They're lying They're to lying you. about everything. <laughs> I'm going to try them everything. all now. Like, yeah, exactly. What am I not going to do? Acid is that you, it's, you said it's better than mushrooms. Yeah, I'll try it. I did it. And then uh, whippets, I regretted that, but I did a whole box of those in one sitting and Holy shit. I've done, I regretted it, but I did it a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I did it, I did not well, want to do it. If you do it. Every it, time it, I've ever done coke, I've regretted it later. But in the moment, it's fun. I did You're coke talking about drug and drugs. I hated it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I've done drugs. Not all drugs. of us are like that. Like, yeah, I, I've only ever smoked drug pot, drugs. you know, and that's where I plan to probably keep it. I was that uh, kid in high school that, like, all of my friends were doing it because metalheads, and I got invited to do it, and I'm like, I'm going to go play bomber mail with my mom. So, no, like, I was weird. I, I have <laughs> no, plenty of friends fine. that don't do drugs at all, like, 0%. I have other friends yeah. that are, like, recovered addicts. Like, they're all about, like, Same. zero drugs, but they used to be, like, pretty hardcore about it and shit like that. I know people from every, like, spectrum, it feels like, as far as, like, what you're willing to do to your body and your, like... I don't connotate marijuana as a drug. So yeah, it totally I totally is, so, though. Yeah. I mean, anything... Here's the problem with the word drugs. The word drugs is a blanket statement that is really just chemicals. I mean, caffeine's a drug, nicotine's a drug, fucking, uh, for sure THC's a drug, for sure cocaine's a drug, but they call them all drugs. So there's drugs that won't completely fucking ruin your life, and there's other drugs, and it, it, they shouldn't be under the whole blanket of the word drugs. It should yeah. be like, it's chemicals. Like, different chemicals do different things to your brain, and there's different times when you can do harder chemicals. Like, cocaine's not a schedule one substance because there's a medical use for it. They use cocaine it in, is like your first choice for th- like many things. No, every time I don't do no, no, I'm no. not trying to anytime set that it you've, up. Anytime that you've that we've like mentioned drugs, you're like cocaine, cocaine. <laughs> that is I feel true. Like it only happened twice now, but I'll try to keep <laughs> up this pattern. <laughs> I'm with her. I agree. That's been brought up a couple of times. No, bud. I'm saying like as an example that like, you've that got a problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Keep going, Cody Hucker. <laughs> I've got to go to the it's, bathroom, you guys. I'll be right back. Anybody have a mirror? No. Uh, so uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, cocaine is not a Schedule One substance because it has a medical use. Like they use it in nasal surgery to numb people up to this day. And like, there's plenty of other chemicals that have their appropriate like uses and things like that. So there's an issue with calling something drugs. Like pot's for sure definitely a drug, but it's not a bad drug. And drugs aren't bad. Like they don't. It's yes, yeah, it is a plant. So like that's why in my mind I don't connotate it as that because well, it does grow mushrooms. from <coughs> take mushrooms. Mushrooms too. Tell me they, it's not to a drug. Me, they're not a drug. They are bad. They're like weird. Not bad, but they're like weird. By definition, they on they're shit. drugs. If, and to say that something's natural and something isn't natural, like pot's cultivated. If the, all the pot that anybody smokes is cultivated by human beings that change the genetics of that like plant to hybridize and make better plants and things like that the same way that they would alter chemicals in a laboratory and all those chemicals are natural they all are like you you talk about man made it's not everything is fucking a lot of yes yeah, a lot of Apples plants a lot of plants are genetically modified nature. like you know. Cocaine comes from the coca thing. See, I'm going to keep up the cocaine trend. It comes from the coca thing. I Heroin was going to bring up you know, actual food like corn. Like corn yeah. for a long time. For wasn't sure. Ethanol really alcohol thing. comes from corn. Yeah, well, I was so. more so referring to the fact that it's a genetically modified organic, but that's that's cool too. No, I got you. I'm just <laughs> saying that like when we talk about like drugs, for sure they're all drugs, but just not all drugs are bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Can I, here, on a tangent. segue. If you guys... Where if you had a superpower and your superpower was a food, what is your superpower? What superhuman the fuck name? does that mean, Patrick? What's your, your superpower was a food? What do you mean, yeah, hot dogs? Like, and your power is your food. So let's say you're hot dog man and you shot warm water out of your mouth. What would you guys say your <laughs> superpower food would be? I asked this like shit, but <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you sure I, shit yeah, did, say, bud. I'm but not really fully he's, sure he's, what he's what the question is. But if, if you were a if you were a superhero and your like your power was based on some sort of food, you're like ramen girl, and you like shot. Yeah, what would like, you pick? And what's your ramen superpower? from your finger? Discovering what everyone's favorite food is right now: <laughs> ramen and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dogs are good as fuck, though. I mean, <laughs> I guess I would choose to, like, shit steaks. That way that I had a free infinite supply of steak. You be steak Damn, man? dude. How did you fucking beat me to it? <laughs> you were figuring out a way to make it, like, uh, yes! how do I get free steak forever? Well, the way I think of you being steak man, you know, I picture you having big steaks for hands, and then you just slap people with them. 
Like, is that your superpower? Nah, I'm. That's I'm gro- not at all what I said, Patrick. I'm growing. <laughs> I'm growing <laughs> stakes out of my body like a meaty exoskeleton. Just sit and them you just cut off. them off. Yeah, I just what like scales fuck? almost. I just pluck the fucking T bone right so off is my it body. Human meat? How are you fighting crime? I'm fucking whipping T bones <laughs> at fools. And but but I also want to know if it's human meat. It yeah, is, is it, it is. human meat? For Ew. sure it is. <laughs> but it tastes delicious so, like a steak. So that, you're a cannibal. That, yeah, about saying that point, are you a cannibal? Yeah. Is it cannibalism yep. if you eat yourself? Yeah. Yeah, sure it is. And it regenerates too. I'm okay so. with that though. There's, that there's is a good people question. with the habit of, of chewing uh, their lips and they eat their skin. So Dude, what does that, that also be considered? I do. I chew. My if you lips. chew your, if you bite your nails, is that considered cannibalism? That's self mutilation. That's different than eating a human eat meat it. steak. <laughs> you can't equate biting <laughs> what, your nails to eating about, a steak of human meat. What about Luke's habit of picking his scabs and eating them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't say that's my habit. Oh my god! That's just a good one. You rather, okay? You monster. <laughs> Have you ever ate a scab before? They taste like pennies. You've had a scab before? I was like eleven. <laughs> Tell what us happened? You said it like I was eleven, like you were two years old and shit. No, like you had no not, control. You had st- I for sure before? knew <laughs> what I was doing when I was eleven. I moved, Alex, I moved back from I moved back from Colorado because I used to live in Colorado. I moved back to Cincinnati and. All the other weird kids just saw me and they thought I was weird too. So they didn't. So you had to prove it to them. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you think I'm weird? Watch this. <laughs> no, I swear. I have yeah. a I have a friend named Cassie that she ate one and she's like, have you ever tasted a scab? They taste like pennies. And I was like, can't say that I have, fam. She ripped one off and, and then, gave it to you. No, fucking. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, I got a good elbow one. I was riding my bike the other day. For, <laughs> forbidden chips. But then that's how that got brought about. Like we were we were little demon kids. So like we were the kind of kids that like during the cicada. Thing, Thing, like caught an assload of cicadas and then like caught it on fire then cried about it like we what you were I was, catching I swear, cicadas on wait, fire you yes. cried about it i did <laughs> after Aww. after it happened and we couldn't put it out because we're you know like <laughs> after it happened how does it just happen <laughs> after fire? we did it <laughs> did you do the hairspray flamethrower with no, the lighter we put them in a pringles can and caught it on fire but <laughs> holy shit that you is made like it. we made a concentration camp for locusts so let's be God. clear yeah. we straight holy up God. we straight up were like serial killers like we're bred to be serial killers but then after it caught on fire we cried about it because we couldn't put it out because I couldn't go in the house and like go get a jug of water or my mom was going to find out and then beat my ass. Why don't so, you just pee on it? Duh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to squat over fire. <laughs> <laughs> you got to raptor it, you know, and put that shit out. <laughs> I don't think there was any way of saving them. As no, it soon wasn't. As fire. I don't know. But they, they, don't they, got, they got a good burial after we were done. We buried them. It's kind of fucked up because they don't have mouths, so they were probably screaming on the inside. Cicadas don't have mouths? No, they don't. What? Uh, what? Do you, are, they, they do not. They, they don't eat. Our locusts, and they, they don't locusts eat. take away food and crop and harvest. What do you mean? Those are locusts. We're talking about cicadas, right? Aren't cicadas they don't not have the mouths. same thing? I'm looking it up. I am Does pretty sure the, the rostrum, rostrum, or what people call the nose of the cicada, contains an enormous pumping muscles that suck the xylem. Is that, am I pronouncing that right? Up into the cicada. The cicada's polymerized viscous saliva plugs up any... This is such a dirty... Like, I just feel weird <laughs> reading this. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't have mouths. Dude, they don't eat, they only live for like saliva. two weeks. They, yeah, they get all their like nutrients they in the ground. Have mouths. Yeah, mouth they, get, parts create. they suck it up through their nose. Yeah, yeah it says mouth They just parts. snort the food. But uh, no, they, they live in the ground for 17 yeah, years. Like they absorb guy. all that nutrients. So they come out and they just come out the Pat, fuck. They definitely have a mouth. It's right there. What are you talking about? Dude, that's, I think what it's the like fuck? a snoot. That looks like a foot. That looks like a snoot. That's its a penis. Snoot. Oh, that's a, does it bite or sting? That's like a thingy. Oh. Are you sure? You're looking that's at the what, right the animal. The question said that. It says, do the cicadas bite or sting? But is that a cicada? How the fuck are you? I don't see any mouths on these creatures. All right, let's the record show that these cicadas do not have mouths. Oh, let's not let the record they show because we're still investigating. Oh, oh that's Patrick's so notorious for saying things that make no sense and like declaring them as and absolute facts. And sticking fact. to his guns <laughs> about yeah. it, but, like <laughs> never backing down from like, it. Like he this swore motherfucker. up and Look. down that orange was a color. For, like, I would say it's, it's, it's red orange. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah it's red orange. He's, would you call it orange? He swore yeah. it was yeah. orange. Well, hold on, you said yeah. I, I could, but I have, I've i never said it. Would it's you? not Typically, an official color. Well, and he insisted it was a color on Crayola. Guys. It and might, it's it, not. It's, it's not a color Let on Crayola. Let me say this. Orange is a color. Blurple is a color. And Gred is Blur- a color. Blurple is a color because body piercers will use that color. You See? 
As, it's a t- I wasn't they, arguing oh, about oh, purple. <laughs> oh, see, guys, I'm so right now. Oh, look, but I can't. I can't. I, I can't agree. Me purple isn't real. I can't agree about orange. I'm sorry. I, I like sort of agree, but don't how, like. How do you spell I it? use the word but red. It's like orange with red? orange. Like gray, <laughs> <and> like <laughs> gray, gray and red. I thought you, I thought green and red. Let the record show that Google says showing results for orange instead of orange. And if you click orange, it might a turret's gonna pop out of the computer and shoot me for being dumb. So I don't even know if I want to click it. Well, let you know. Look, dude, that, that's a orange like color. Urban Dictionary <laughs> r- orange. Look, orange is a new black. A combination ex- of red and orange used exclusively in Doctor Donahue's Chem H class when describing the color of solutions. Hold the, the fuck? Click so on Dr. Donahue. Why is that so specific? Click on Dr. Donahue. We clearly need to investigate. A rare bacteria found in giraffe feces. That's what, what are, orange is. What what it's says. real. It just <laughs> says. You know, some sort of way. Record, this is Urban Dictionary, but it, it's not about whether or not the word is it's real. Giraffe it's not about feces. that. It's, it's giraffe it's feces. It's that you insisted it was a color. It's probably what the color of giraffe feces are. Orange, which someone a vet should take a look at those fucking feces, because orange. someone's gonna be sick as fuck. Now to me that color, this is orange. This is very orange. I'm so now, glad I have someone on my side. On. Here. What we this need is, to talk this about this is a very red but, orange. What we need to talk it's about is if orange. I mean, it's, there's is, red orange. We're all talking but, over each other. Yeah, we are. Uh, what we need to discuss is is if orange is a real color or if orange is just an apt description for that color. Well, let me ask you this: Do you consider red a color? Do you consider orange in color? If you mix them together, it's probably still a color. It's it's probably just a very red shade of they orange. They call it red so. orange. What are you talking about? <laughs> just I, make like, it easier like and orange. say roar orange. Like, why do you have to add the extra letters in it and say red orange? It sounds say like orange. you're like, verbally like, yo, lazy. I like your roar orange car, red not your red <laughs> orange oh. car. That sounds stupid. But nobody says that. Everyone's like red and or orange. They Dude. don't like pick the general That's a public, nice shade of blurple you got the for general your car, public dude. doesn't pick <laughs> okay patrick if you go into the bmv to get your license renewed and you have a, a red ish orange car and you <laughs> yeah. go in and they ask for what is the color of your vehicle Not are you orange. gonna go it's orange, orange. yeah i put and orange just stare at fucking no. you think they're gonna look at that and not know what the fuck that and means? then he crosses yes. his arms orange <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I said it. Doesn't break a fucking smile. It doesn't blink once. I'm probably sweating profusely, but that's just normal for but me. But I wore black that day, so they won't know. <laughs> that, I'd say Fuck. it's a color. I mean, there's so many colors. Why wouldn't there be a color like that? The BMV says that my car is mauve, and it's actually pink. So... Well, so they're wrong? Do you ever but, tell them that they're wrong? Like, hey, yeah. that, that's wrong. The title says mauve, and I'm like, but this is pink. Dude, <laughs> speaking of DMVs, my fr- this is super off topic, but my BMVs, friend works DMVs at DMVs outdated, bud. I fucking hate the DMV or the BMV or whatever the fuck. I can never I know it. which one to say. B, Stand it. B. B. But my friend works at one, and she's, like, certified to work there whenever, so she can just show up and, like, work there. Like, her boss is her friend, so they'll let her just work on random days just to get car shit figured out. There was the biggest fucking line when I had to get my tags renewed, and the the best feeling of my entire life was like walking into this BMV right behind her and walking to an empty counter and just getting all my shit taken care of in like five minutes and walking the fuck out while I just like looked at all these sad sacks that are sitting in line fucking <laughs> oh all God. upset to be waiting Damn. at the BMV and I walked out and they're all like who is he the fucking president <laughs> like is this the senator of fucking Ohio like who the fuck are you man why don't you have to wait in line we walk out together new tags and shit it was did you have like a little bit moments. of a swag walk as you walked out I, I felt like I had a strut about my about my step that day yeah I would have been an absolute terror like they're gonna beat me up <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> I encourage like people to try to beat me up so I hear you, you, you were talking about earlier before the podcast that you're a bit of a germaphobe. Yeah. We're back so on it. Yeah. Let's yeah. get back on it. I'd really want to delve into this because I'm very curious. How did how do you become germaphobic? Working in a tattoo studio. Is that when it ha- it didn't happen at an early age? So nope. you weren't always germaphobic? You didn't what? have some traumatic yes. germ event happen in your past? So you had no. one when you were an adult? Yeah. What was it? What, well, what I was, happened? I yeah, didn't start tattooing happened? as an adult. I started tattooing as a teenager. I was 16. Okay. But... Um, all it is is you take a bloodborne pathogens, first aid, um, CPR, AED, things like that. Mm. But bloodborne pathogens in general, that one teaches you like people are icky, and you don't oh, yeah, really yeah, want are. you don't want people touching you. You don't want their yuck, like any of that, like that stuff, like touching your mouths on that. That bothers the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I asked the question. Like this? It's, and I meant that, but every time anyone like shares it and I see all of their mouths touching it, I'm like. 
So how do you feel about going into <laughs> like public bathrooms? Do you? I don't you, use public bathrooms. You would choose to hold it, even if it meant pissing your pants. Yes, I would rather pee on myself. But what? then you would sit in your pee. Yeah, I would. It's my pee. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, true. It came out of me. It's mine. People, okay, okay. Yeah, people in prison do tattoos with it, so like it's got to be what? at least sort of okay. <laughs> Who's the dude that what? played? They this, d- <laughs> this is related. Who's the dude that played uh, Deadpool's friend in uh, the bartender in Wade the Deadpool Wilson? movie? The, no, Wade no, Wilson no, is that's, Deadpool. That's Deadpool. The other well, guy, Ryan Reynolds. He's a comedian. He plays the bartender at the fucking the the weird bar uh, or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The comedian, whatever the fuck. I'm sure people are screaming at home listening. The second rate Seth Rogen. Yeah, so he fucking had a joke about it. He has a shit, like some weird comedy special that I didn't enjoy. But there was one joke that was funny. He was like, I use public bathrooms. I don't even wipe off the seat, even if there's (laughs) piss on it. He was like, you know why? Because you don't transfer germs from your butt. Yeah. And then he sprayed water out of a water bottle over himself. I don't know how that was the punchline for his joke. But I was like, I feel the same way. How are you getting pee germs from your butt inside? Like, are they absorbing through your what? Well, it's Are on you... your skin too, so like you can think about the fact that like someone's piss is now on your skin. <laughs> like uh, a fucking like the, the air dryers; those are covered in shit and piss and all that shit. <laughs> particles flying all over the place. They say yeah. it's dirtier to do that than just dry like air dry. Well, I dry my asshole after I sit in the piss on the air dryers. You... So hold on, you are admitting right now that you for a fact do sit on puddles of piss on the toilet no. seat in public restrooms? <laughs> of course I don't do that. I'm not a maniac. I wipe it off first and then I sit on it. Thank God. I just, I don't care. I'm not do you that spit? thorough. Do you spit on the toilet before shit you on wipe? There, I might get a little bit more in there. Spit up. <laughs> On the toilet <laughs> and like get the get the you shit. You clean up someone flakes. else's shit off the toilet. At that point, to I would use say the no. handicap stall. Yes, every time. I'm not <laughs> gonna sit in the plebe stall or the regular person stall. You know what I mean? Like I'm never not using that handicap stall. Like even what if, if a I'm handicap the only person's one in there. like you're sitting there taking a dump and it's like you're you're exercising a demon and then someone with a wheelchair <laughs> yeah, pulls up and tries knocks up. on the door and like you have to escape. How I'd, do you escape? That I'd be situation? like it's not illegal and just keep shitting. <laughs> That's what you'd say? <laughs> yeah. Don't be a I, dick about it. There's though. no law that says I can't do it. I just I shouldn't because it's morally wrong. But I don't care about any of that. Damn, dude. Yeah, <laughs> fuck public bathrooms, though. There's some horrible shit out there. Until he's in a wheelchair. I want to know those people that, I'll like, like what happened to those people that shit in public d- bathrooms and it just sprays on the walls <laughs> and on the ground? Like, I'm just like, what happened to you? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you alive? I mean, they got it out, so they're and they're you not know? in there, dead with it. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean they escaped. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to shit on the walls, it's going to be the, the place to do it. The people you're talking about is sitting right next to you. Cody? Right? Yeah. This man has nuclear I don't shit, shit on the, shit the wall. He posted Rare? about shitting an entire romaine lettuce leaf. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah, what was this that? man talked about shitting out No, no, no. Neon. I said I was asking for a friend. <laughs> he was shitting. He was talking about shitting out neon green Allegedly. and yellow stuff. Dude, I'm sure when you pull your pants down, it explodes like a grenade. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, and it's usually like I drink a lot, so it's mucusy and like. It, oh my it's oh fucking god! Lord, but then they'll be they'll <laughs> Stop be tough putting images ones. in my head. They'll be tough ones where you can tell it's like a baseball, but my butthole is more like a roll of quarters. Oh so it's god. trying like a baseball out of a quarter roll. Uh, <laughs> those are the bleeders, my friends. Bart. Those are the bleeders. Dude. So this sounds marginally like constipation. Yeah, it, yeah, I think that's he's, my had, life. he's yeah. probably had constipation it's for how many years now? Constipation God. and extreme diarrhea. Like I'm not <laughs> extreme at the same time. Con- cons- constipation comes with diarrhea. Have you ever had the plug of constipation shit, and then behind it you can feel the fucking <laughs> brr, 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 like the bubbles of diarrhea? <laughs> like, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. My intestines are gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> for <laughs> sure, there's a three liter of shit in me now. All right, all right. The burning question that I think we were all really trying to burning ask was, while question. tattooing somebody, Alex, have yeah. you ever sharded? No. <laughs> okay. That's what we no. were getting to? Yeah, I think Yeah, that was the main point of the whole podcast was to ask you if you ever shit yourself while tattooing. All right, so I'm done. Goodbye. All right, well, good <laughs> podcast. I'll <laughs> we're just it off now. No, I haven't. I mean... I don't really just, you know, sit around and fart, so I haven't just, like, sat around You and never have a fart well, let me while ask... you're doing a four-hour tattoo? Like, well, you never no, have... maybe no. You never <laughs> have to go one butt cheek in the air and just, no. like, slide it out? Has... I feel like a tattoo artist is going to be like, all right, I need to take a break. Has and anyone ever back farted yeah, after on the, the table exactly yeah. like... with you? Yeah. What'd you say, Rachel? That's, I asked if anyone had, like, she's tattooing farted on the table with her. Like, like you've heard it? Like, she's, yeah. She's or, like, it's been, like, in my face. Or, oh in my your God. face? Like, blew your hair back, kind of? No. <laughs> like, okay, so, one instance, a girl has a, is getting a lower back tattoo, and she is anxious, she is nervous, and she's real cute and small, too, so it made it, nervous like, even, even more yucky, because then she's bent over, and she farts, and I was just like, 
okay. So I go back to what I'm doing, and then she keeps <laughs> she doing it. She said nothing? No. She just blew it off. Was like, she Meh. sweaty? Like, I hope she didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, like, I get nervous or something. Yeah, well, then after it kept happening, Wait, I was Wait, was like, it a crackler? Like one of the... <laughs> there was no 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 noise. It was just, silent, but No deadly. noise, just smell. And I'm like, uh... Well, then later she's even like sorry i'm farting i i get i get like nervous farts. oh she did and, say something yeah later after she'd already done it for like after 30 the damage was minutes. done yeah well then i was like can you just like i don't know like hold it bitch and then she <laughs> keeps doing it so like her butt crack it's like a stovepipe of dookie like oh. in my face oh. yeah God. so that's cool and she then, probably had swamp ass you well know. then i never tattooed her again so i guess she was it was it for that reason no she just didn't come back <laughs> but would you tattoo her again knowing that she's a, a, a farter? I wouldn't be touching her there again. So, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if she said, hey, I'll pay you $500 to tattoo my butt? I mean, sure. I'm really nervous today. 500 bucks, 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Not true. I guess I'd take a fart for, would you, would for you, 500 bucks. Would you tattoo a warning, like, underneath the butt cheek for the next like tattoo? Is like... Hey, watch oh, the, you just, know what? That's a just really throw good out like a little warning, like yeah, farts like, when nervous. Yeah. just like a little, just like a little, like a toot yeah. bubble. You she'll know? never know. <laughs> <Above> so, <the laughs> butt. She'll never know. I, but her boyfriend will if he eats that ass. What do you mean? <laughs> or girlfriend? He'll, he probably warning. knows about it. Yeah, and he's right. like, yeah, that she's she's right. This he's into true. it. If you're gonna eat ass, you should already know that there's a possibility of like there's some farts are coming. Yeah, like speckles, some like, shit perfume, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Like some, some shit sprackles. couple new shit freckles <laughs> some on debris. your face when you're done. Some fart debris. Yeah, pretty much. But that's like that's like one of the only grossest things. Like people fart all the time, obviously. Like especially dudes. Like this is whatever. Like I don't even give a shit about that. But like, you know, you can usually tell if based on what you ate, it's gonna smell bad. That's when I care. Where I'm like, you could not just like beef in this room and like make it smell awful. Where I have to be here for hours. Because one of my coworkers is really good about that too. He farts all the time. So he'll bring it into my room and then leave it. It's like, fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> what a savage. Crop dusted. One yeah. time I came into my boss's office and I had like a real hangover, or like hungover day or whatever. And I'm in there and I was like, Bramp, like real loud. Everybody <laughs> laughed. And then three <laughs> seconds later, Tom was like, what the fuck, man? And he's a big dude, like big farts all the time. But it, he was like, I hear people talk about it smells like a fucking tire fire or like <laughs> this or that. They're God making damn. jokes. He was like, I've never in fucking 36 years of life fucking smelled anything as horrible as what just came out of your asshole. Leave my office, Cody. I was like, I don't have to be clocked in for 40 minutes. He was like, go somewhere else. I don't give a fuck where you go, but get the fuck out of my office. You just like, it smells like somebody lit a truck tire on fire. And, <laughs> and everyone else just had to stand there and <laughs> the fart <laughs> while you got that to was leave. the goal <laughs> have you felt any shame at all at, at any of your um, farts the exact opposite only pride <laughs> <laughs> like a room clearing fart is only a prideful moment for my life what do you mean <laughs> no, i'm not you excited did that. that you farted and everybody got like horrified and their eyes started watering Dude, like I they mean, were cutting baskets of onions some people just want to watch the world burn <laughs> that's a good that's a good time to use that that saying yes pat what were you gonna say luke what you were gonna say something? No, I wasn't. Oh well. Why'd you pull the mic all close and like? I'm adjusting it, it bud. Are you about to burp? No. Are you about to can chart? you burp? On can, command? I can, can burp, can not you? on command. You can burp, but just not right now. Yes. I gotcha. Okay. Is the internet working? I think so. What do you all want right. To look up? So we wanted to get into. A that couple. was weird. Yeah, it was. That's horrible. Yeah, that was really oh, so, how about yeah. This? Let's talk about this. So what we have on the screen right now is a pizza with a lizard under the cheese. I don't believe that. That's a lizard, dude. That that's looks a like a lizard. That's a. That's it looks a, like a lizard, but I think that it's a pepper. Cause like look for at that. sure. Yeah, that's a pepper. That's for a sure. No, it's got little legs. Look and a tail. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just coincidental. It's, it's, <laughs> no. this is too much of a coincidence, my dude. But it's also, got like if you scales. like finish it in like a circle, it looks like a pepper. It looks like a bell pepper. It's the way it's cut. I I, I cook know. for a living. It's this is not a bell cut. pepper at all. It looks like a lizard. It, that's a lizard. That looks like a lizard. Without a doubt. Not a lizard. It was probably living in like shit in the office. Just what? like beef on in the office and you cook for a living? In the office downstairs, it's far away from the kitchen. And we have giant hood fans above us, so no, like, that's you okay. can, I'm just you being can an asshole. rip farts and like the hood fan will take it away. Like I wish that I could like clear out the <laughs> kitchen with my farts. Like all we Jesus. do is talk shit to each other all day long. Like if I could also fart on top of talking shit, it would be my ideal workplace, but that's not a lizard. That's a lizard. That is totally I cut bell peppers all what day. What does the long. discussion say? Like, is there anything in there that Eat oh. your green pepper, honey? It's a joke, though, but I hate pepper. Okay, here's a lizard instead. But I hate lizard kids these days. No, that's totally a lizard. That's It's not a lizard. Well, would, you a eat it? would you eat it? Yes. Yeah, it's a pepper. You that... would. So you would eat that even if 
you did it's not like, confirm that it was a pepper a lizard. or a lizard. I would confirm it by like if it looks Lizard's like a lizard because it is lizard shaped. It is shaped How are you like gonna, a lizard. So you're at you're at La Rose's. Snopes it. And you're getting a pizza and there's a My lizard pizza won't shape. have cheese on it, so I won't have to worry about it being covered. Okay, but anyways, there's a lizard shaped pepper on there. You're not even going to... How are you going to test it then? Not even close. A lizard shaped pepper cut into it? If it's a lizard, it's already dead. Oh wait, so, look. Like, here's a lizard. Not even fucking Here's like close. this similar lizard, different color. And here is... That's a water is, slide. <laughs> that's a that, lizard, dude. Alex, that's a you are lizard. Perceptive. That's okay, that is a water slide. And uh, there's the lizard. So look, it's got the tail, <laughs> the two legs, the, the head. legs are curled up because they were cooked. <laughs> yeah, they were cooked, no. dude. So this has like been burnt here. How would they cut this perfectly and make it look like a lizard? <laughs> How yeah, would they cut, cut it on purpose? <laughs> Do you see these little slits in the back? You see the slits? That's the fucking scales, my dude. That also looks like when you cook a bell pepper no. and yeah, all the skin does. like gets all like wrinkly. So there's legs. You sound like a person that's never cooked a bell pepper in your life right now. How dare you? I don't cook my own food. <laughs> I cook for a living. I'm telling you as a person that cooks bell peppers. That's a lizard. Look, those bell peppers legs... aren't that white once when they're cooked. They're much, it's covered they're, in cheese. They're that green. is a pepper. You see the green color here that's very different from the green yeah. color in the lizard. What kind of pepper would that those, be? Those it's legs. A green bell pepper. A lizard those pepper. legs. It's too long. The, those the legs. Long skinny tail at the end. Yeah, dude. How would this happen? Okay, it's a lizard. I'm done. Those legs, what? <laughs> <coughs> I don't believe it's a lizard, but. Someday I'll get. Okay, so I think those legs. Are like cut at an angle on the bell pepper. It's, they definitely it's aren't. Cut. You would never yeah. do that because and the way that you slice a bell pepper is cut. just like that. You just you're cutting off slivers of the bell. And pepper. you don't think he was but being weird to make fools think it was a lizard? I yeah. mean, it doesn't look like a bell pepper at all. So you would eat this too? I would 110 percent eat that because that looks like a delicious ass cheese pepperoni, perhaps bacon and green pepper pizza. I would smash the and shit lizard. out of that. And You'd lizard. eat that in one bite. I w- th- absolutely not. What? I don't, <laughs> I don't eat pizza in one bite, you maniac. Yeah, that would be a big bite. I can't even understand how this could not be a lizard. <laughs> I mean, size. well, Cody, would Look you still it. eat it, though? Yes. Yes, I'd try it. I'd try yeah, why lizard. not? I mean, why could it? What could <laughs> happen? Is it going to hurt me? It's already cooked. Yeah, it's cooked all the way through, right? I ain't worried What's about it. What's the weirdest it? thing you got, you've got? ate? You too. Cicada on pizza. That's so weird. I mean, I don't really eat weird stuff. I don't eat anything yeah, that's like. Uh, yes, what do you guys really? eat usually? I eat vegetables and fruit. You and don't eat any grain. meat? No, I don't eat meat, cheese, dairy, anything like that. Are you full on vegan? Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah. then what you like about... look to the ground and sighed as you said it. Like <laughs> we were gonna attack you for being vegan. Like, because don't every worry, time, it's every fine. time I say it, people are like. <laughs> I mean, I love meat, but I don't care what you eat. Like, I don't. Well, care. well then, well then, do you mess around with like crazy hot foods? Yeah, I like, hot, like, I like hot food. Well, then, what's like have you guys food. had, like, the like ghost peppers and stuff like that? Um, I No, not that I'm aware of. But have you seen, the, like, the spicy noodle challenge? I've no. had those noodles. Like, what's a spicy noodle challenge? They're these, like, weird... Well, not weird, but they're these Korean noodles. And um, somehow, surprisingly, they're vegan, but they have a chicken on them. And, uh, yeah, that guy. He's sweet. But it's really, really hot. Like, it was enough to make me cry. Um, but it was still really good. It tasted really good. But it just burnt the shit out of your mouth. Yes, it hurt me really bad. It like made me like turn bright red on the sides of my mouth, and like I actually cried. What? I don't know who she is, but what the fuck was that intro? <sighs> <sighs> so spice. Yeah. Oh my god. It's not that red. Why I don't know it, what the why hell she's Why does it look so eating. bloody? Yeah. See, I don't know what she's eating, but it's why not she... that red. Is it good at first? Why is it doing? wonder what she like used. Like we didn't really you. look to see like what the noodle package good. looked like. Man, you can see it next spicy. to her, and it's a, it's the same one. It's black, but I don't know why it's red. It Did she add like extra that. shit to it? Maybe, because it, it doesn't look like that. It standardly just looks like regular ramen and like a little like red, but not. Do you think maybe because she has so much, maybe she used more that could have made the, the, the darker color? Maybe, but the like actual... Um, Sauce is like brown red. Oh, it says oh, that okay. times eight packs is what this one did. This one says gone wrong vomit warning. And oh, it's got please, play eight it. packs of it. So maybe the eight packs is what does it. Or you're gonna have to do... skip a little bit because it's gonna be a whole lot. Hey, let's guys. fucking do this on the bastard server. You guys want to see somebody God, throw up? You two people are so annoying. Yeah, I also get fuck. super grossed out, like mouth open. So, wait, the fuck so you, cuts. wait, you get super grossed so. out. She you just said? had like noodles in her mouth, like mouth open. Oh, yeah, that was gross. Who yeah. chews with their mouth open? 
think this is where it happened. But would you eat it with like a uh, lizard shaped banana pepper in there? What would I eat that with a lizard shaped yeah. banana pepper? Like that banana same lizard that we were just yucky. looked at. But yeah, that that guy, he's not a lizard. I'm pretty sure it was a lizard. Sure, it's a lizard. Um, no, I won't eat him if he's actually a lizard. But <laughs> that wasn't a real vomit video. They blurred it out. Yeah, she this is horrible. This I can't watch this anymore. Her um, mouth is gargantuan. <laughs> yeah, it was quite God large. Not ready for that. <laughs> she looked like she she could swallow a whole fucking b- bushel of like bananas all at once. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is that a technical term for bananas? Is it a bushel or what is it? I thought it was a mm-hmm. bunch. A bunch of bananas. A bunch? She could swallow a whole bunch of bananas. <laughs> so how that's better. <laughs> that rolls off the tongue better, doesn't it? A bunch sounds less insulting though. So go back to bushel. A bushel we'll of bananas, yeah. yeah. But no, that's like that's one of the hottest things that I've eaten. Um I like hot sauce, so like I get a lot of different hot sauce, but nothing like too weird if you, you don't like those? patrol like jungle gyms to find the new craziest absolutely not no do you most do that, ridiculous Luke? imported <laughs> stuff no but i like to check it out because it's like stuff i'll never do have you guys ever done the pepper extracts like the ones that are solid black like pure capsaicin no, no. no. Uh, oh my god those are so scary so it says on the bottle that one drop will flavor like fucking 50 gallons of chili or something or five gallons or something crazy so naturally, me and my friends put it on toothpicks and fucking fucked our whole nights up with it and shit like that. Like we're out in the front yard drinking out the hose, like spraying it all over our faces, like trying to chug all the milk. And like my friends got like a little baby sister that needs that milk in the morning, but we need it more because we fucked our whole mouth up with like hot ass pepper extract and shit. We're out in the front yard, like faces completely red. Everybody's throwing up. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I recommend not doing that. But I saw a video of a dude eating an entire bottle of it like it was nothing. Uh-uh, you're what? lying. I'm not. I'm not lying. <laughs> Look at him. I'll show you. <laughs> you're lying. You're Hot in- food doesn't, like, it makes me, like, sweaty and stuff. But I'll, like, you know, wait it out. Like, it's not, like. Like, it's no big deal. Yeah. I, I found the guy. I, this isn't the video, but. I once put a, a hot fry to my eyeball. That sounds what? really dumb. Why would you Why do the that, fuck dummy? Would you do that? Because <laughs> I was in high school and I was gonna get four Twixes. For These it. are the kids that wow. like that they like large snort pixie sticks. Twixes? Yes, that they sold those at the concession stand in the lunchroom. And I would buy those like every day. So how did the, can we can we pause the video for a second? I want to ask Luke more about this. How? Why? Who bet you this? And. The, how long did you have to think about it before you stuck? It might have been Andy Schnoyer, and it was just a poke, like just a poke. Yeah, just man, a these quick are messy. Spicy poke. A big spicy poke. All right, let's do it. You guys can still keep talking about your thing. I was just getting queued up. That's cool. Oh, it just my eye How's got it? real red and it teared for a second. Oh, he's wearing it. gloves, so it doesn't get on his hands. He's gonna put it in his mouth. <laughs> right? Like I never understood that. Like, what do you? Well, I think they're worried that you're gonna like touch your eye or touch face. your dick or something, and it'll how, burn it up. How that to definitely survive. happens. How to survive a whole vial of plutonium extract? It's, yeah, plutonium what? extract is nine million Scoville units, and this is Chase the Heat or Johnny Scoville. Plutonium. I watched a fuckload of his videos, but it, they're psycho? so long. Is he a straight up psycho? Kind he's got of. a sweet beard. Okay, so yeah, but I say his beard cream psycho. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting in this uh, office chair, and he opened up this whole bottle. I skipped to the part where he's actually got it open, and he's, like, smelling it right now with, like, blue surgical gloves on. Wow. Oh, I bet you that smells clear. like extract. I had the 4 million 44 Magnum extract by the same company. It was hotter than the doorknob to hell. Pardon my language. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The <laughs> nerd. Watch sure he's like ready? person like crazy. Turn a Mickey shirt. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, he drinks a whole thing? What yeah, a psycho. And this stuff is like hard as fuck, so you have to heat it up first so that it'll be a liquid, and it's like tar. So it <sighs> sticks to every orifice Ugh. of your tongue. like Or not orifice, every like little <clears throat> tiny like crater blood. of your tongue. This <sighs> is making my butthole so tight. This dude eats whole bottles of hot sauce, like cracks <clears throat> the seal on the thing and shit like that. Just wrecks this man. Um, just Take your life. Bill Moore. But he does it like nothing. He does it like somebody. I I've seen you. people like we were like the same reaction from a tiny dab of the same type of shit. This dude is just like, ah, I'm still talking. I'm still sitting like I'm not calling the ambulance yet. Like I would for sure be in the hospital if I did something like this. Good God. Yeah. Fuck all that. Why would anybody want to do this challenge? Like, who? what do you have to prove? Get Internet views. Everything. So spice. You, you have everything to prove. <laughs> 70,000 views, Pat. That's what he's got to prove. Sometimes that shit delicious, too. Like, you're like, oh, it hurts so bad, but it tastes so good. Isn't it weird? 
That's weird. I've had some I curry like, like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I love hot sauce. Yeah, so I'm I love totally hot food. That. Dude, my extent of of a casual hot food is like a flaming hot Andy's Cheeto caps in the hot eye. fries. <laughs> <laughs> like I am so fucking white and normal to that fucking side of my food palate. I you can't don't eat handle food shit. Ever? No, I'm black, so like it. I, I dude, I am so weak to it. I can put hot sauce on everything. I feel like I have yeah. like one. Like, dude, one I'll hot put sauce steak. Sauce What's your guys' go to for hot sauce? Mine's like a really shitty one called Goya. Like just their hot sauce. But that's your favorite. That's my it's favorite. Like it's like one. it's like the cheapest, shittiest one, but I love it. I can't. I don't know why. I, I love, love El Yucateco. El Yucateco is like a habanero brand hot sauce, and they've got this Caribbean one that's fucking amazing. It's mm. really hot, like a dab will do you, but it's really fucking good. What about you? I use Blair's Megadeth. No, you don't. That sounds yep. insane. You use what? Blair's Megadeth sauce for your fucking regular everyday hot sauce. That <laughs> is craziness. To give you guys uh, what she's talking about, if you've ever seen the show Hot Ones. Uh, with uh, he does a chicken wing thing. This oh, dude, Sean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they eat ten chicken wings of progressively hotter spices. And they ask him like questions. Yeah. yeah. For the longest time, they changed it just recently. It used to be Blair's Mega Death Sauce was the tenth wing, and they would put like a dab on it, and it would just wreck people. And she's saying this is like your normal everyday. As long shit. as I don't touch my face, it's good. That is craziness. How I'll much do you put on with my boyfriend? Just I depends. believe I'm not like I'm not yeah, saying it's like, you're lying. I would, yeah, say I'll tell you. <laughs> no, I believe you 100. No, percent I'm just it's just like, like one of those shit. situations of like, and it it doesn't you know it's thick. If yeah. you've seen it before, you know it's thick, so it doesn't just like come out like Frank's Red Hot. But like a couple of drops in my food will be good. So that's craziness. That wouldn't it, that would fuck my whole food up. Like I like hot food, but I don't like my food to be unbearably fucking hot. Like I, I just can't go. I like hot food. Like it's something that I just grew up with, so I'm down for it. It hurts, but I'm like, it tastes good and it hurts, so I just let it go. <laughs> All about that pain. <laughs> yeah, it hurts and it's good. <laughs> right on. I'm lame. I like sriracha sauce a lot. I like sriracha too. It's so tasty. I used to. I don't know what happened though. Something about the the taste of sriracha puts me off to sriracha now. I don't. Maybe it's because I've eaten it so many times, but it leaves like some weird like. Like metally aftertaste I, in my mouth. I agree with that. I don't really? like sriracha very much either. I used to though. Like I used to love like a sriracha mayo or something, but now every time I eat it, it's just like weird taste. Like I don't know what it is. I like the aesthetic of sriracha. It looks cool. It, I it definitely, definitely like the bottle cool. of that. And I save the bottles and use them for olive oil containers or like spray bottles for something. That's a neat That's a good idea. idea. Now this isn't a sauce, but whenever I go and get sushi, I really like putting the wasabi in the soy sauce. Like I feel like that gives it makes the sushi really spicy. I do that every time. And I like that a so lot. So good. It's not. It's a different kind of hot though. So like wasabi doesn't affect your palate in the same way as like a capsaicin. It doesn't stick. Once it's down and once you wash it away, it's gone because they. The wasabi root that they make it from, it works very differently inside your mouth. It's like, what is it exactly? Isn't it's it a peak? root that it's they root? take and they they like grind it into a paste, and then it becomes like the wasabi that you know, which is like just a paste. Is it, is it naturally root. that green? I'll show you. I thought it was I think, peas. I think most Ri- wasabi, so they, was actual wasabi is really expensive, I think. So a lot of the sushi restaurants that we go to probably... It's like horseradish, some sort of like horseradish, yeah. ha- huh. horseradish mix. I learned something today. So this is it's what it looks like, like mm. and then that's what happens when they uh, grate it. Well, that's a shitty... Well, they do a good-ass job grating it because it's delicious. She's right. They incorporate a lot of horseradish. It's like they use wasabi or like wasabi powder, like what we use at work, but it's not it's not potent at all compared to real wasabi so they have to add horseradish then you get the same effect on your palate like you get that like spicy burn through the back of your throat and your nose and like your sinuses and stuff yeah sorry that's... we got on a weird food tangent i mean it's interesting <laughs> how this happened so what's your guys's least favorite food like if you if it was put in front of you would you be like fuck this i'm out human Sour- feces sauerkraut <laughs> sauerkraut's fucking foul. hold on bud <laughs> immediately, go- immediately goes to poop <laughs> Poop. You're welcome. <laughs> I wouldn't eat poop. That's what I'm here think, for. I don't think poop is just a normal thing on a menu. I don't like monkfish. It's pretty gross. What is that? Monk well, I didn't like it when I ate it. It's really yucky. That Sour. sounds gross. He'll show you because it looks like it's gross. Like it looks like a yeah. Look uh. at him. Sauerkraut for me. What just the, the fuck is that? Some Pat kind your, of some kind of sea demon. Pat, your mouse needs batteries. I can't. It's not working. It's like glitching. Yeah, that looks like a sea demon for sure. Yeah. You oh ate my God. that? I did. Oh I my ate God, one. They're huge. <laughs> What's it smell Holy like? Fuck. Um, it smells like fish, but it just doesn't taste good. Like good fresh fish isn't supposed to smell like yeah, quote I mean, unquote that's, fish. I know. But like it smells like fish, like but one. not fishy. Gotcha. Um, but it's it doesn't taste good. It just I don't know. It's how nasty. Do, I think the only part of it texture like is it like I imagine this like gelatin like for so some reason. I'm pretty sure yeah, the only soft. part of it that you could eat is the tail because mm-hmm. we picked it up from um 
I can't remember. Somewhere at Jungle Gems. Was not Jungle Gems. Sorry. Uh, Finley Market is where we picked it up from. Was it? Did it look like this? Where it was like breaded or whatever? Or no. How did you get it? He. So my boyfriend's the one that cooked it. I don't cook my own food. Is Tyler your boyfriend? <laughs> no. Okay, I was confused because you brought him up a couple of times. So I was like, no. wait, is Tyler your? Okay. No. Okay. Uh, my boyfriend's name is Mike. Um, gotcha. But he brought it for me. He made it, and it kind of looked like when you cook salmon, not breaded or anything like that. It was uh, more like mahi mahi. Actually, it was really white. I yeah, love mahi um, mahi mahi is great. But whatever whatever was going on with it, it itself was disgusting. Like I just could not handle it, and we never ate it again. How much of it did you get? Did you try to like finish yeah. it, like keep going? And I'm shit? the type of person that I will try something three times. So I ate one bite. Eh, it's kind of it's kind of disgusting. Ate the next bite. Like no, it's still fucking gross. And then ate the third one. Like I'm done. Can't do that. Make me something else. I have this. <laughs> min- I feel that. I have that m- that mentality where you have to eat it just because somebody gave it to you or something. Even if you don't like it, like I gotta finish it. Like I don't care. Like it's food's just energy for me. So like, why am I so like picky? Fuck it. I'm just gonna eat it. But like, I probably won't order it the next time I go out to a restaurant type shit. But if it's like given to me, like can it's a plate of poop. Put it down. Of course it would, Pat. <laughs> That's stupid. It goes back to poop. <laughs> it's just stupid. Delicious poop. All but right. that, that looks really good, though. I mean, I love Mahi Mahi. This, Does, yeah, see, that, this looks good, but the actual fish is a demon. Yeah. How's this dude look? Does that <laughs> look delicious to you, Pat? No, that looks yeah. fucking Make nightmare out fuel. With I'm pretty sure that I was told that you can't eat any other part of him except for his tail, because the rest is just, like, bones. Look up this fish, an oyster toad fish. I once caught this in the ocean, and it is one of the freakiest-looking fish. It reminds me of that. Also, supposed to be really poisonous, too, but they are freaky-looking. This dude's free-handed, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, they look it like... like it's grumpy face. Yeah. They kind of look grumpy, but they look like He's an angry nasty fish. toads. They Dude, do look gross. The sea... Is an actual nightmare. It's a fucking jungle terrifies under me, the water. Dude. Yeah, fucking yeah. terrifies me. Same. Yeah, whales are scary as shit. Same. Like, Can you imagine so being why on... do you guys think whales are scary? Because they're so are huge. You, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I'm sure they capsize kill your you. tiny yeah. little vessel while you're out trying to look for them and just die in the ocean. Which I sounds mean, horrifying. if they jump on you, but what are the, what are the chances of that happening? They ha- it happens. It happens. Look this up. Statistically, I feel like it doesn't happen as much. It's as like, I feel like if I, <laughs> if I went out there, happen. if I went out there and went and saw, saw these you whales, just I bet always, it won't happen. You should just always have a natural fear of the sea. Um, yeah, fuck yeah, you should. There's one from like a week ago, and when I typed <laughs> in, when I typed in whale capsizes boat, it doesn't say whale capsizes boat. Like Google searched that shit, it was like 2014, 2015, 2016. So like there's 20, fucking 2018. shitload of times it happens apparently. Let's yeah, see, I, I can like we actually this. see the video of it, or I is it just? It like but I feel like this video. is like people that are like, let's go look at fucking whales, and whales are like, get out of my home. Two fishermen, they're fishermen, so they're. But in there. we were also. Whales love fishermen, by We're the way. I watch this Alaska. We don't belong well, they, on this it, planet. It tracks all so. the krill. Yeah, I watched this Alaska documentary where they were like the fishermen would go out like one time a year. They have this giant harvest of fish where everybody goes and makes like you make like fifty grand in one day type of thing, and that's the only day of the year that they get to go out. But like they're it's getting fucked up because the whales are so smart that they pay attention to when the fishermen come out and when these swarms of fish come, and they know that they're attracted to whatever they're doing, like the nets and shit like that. So they come in and swoop up all the fish before the fishermen can get to it and just fuck shit up. So whenever there's fishing boats, like there's also going to be whales wherever there's whales. Usually, I found out humans are aliens anyway. So it says whale capsizes fishing boat off Jersey Shore. You said humans are whales? Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, That's we're fucking weird as fuck. Yeah, we're aliens. There's, we don't fit anywhere in the food chain. We destroy the earth. Well, I mean, or we make it better for ourselves. Yeah, yeah I mean, killing everything else, so. Ah, it's all right. Like, a, pa- like a parasite. <laughs> right, Who needs wow. everything else? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we were born here, too. We don't get to see the, the whale capsize the boat, but it's just a dude floating in the ocean on the bottom of a capsized boat. Yeah, I, so this is bullshit, then. Just How the is fuck it, is it whale? It's on out. the internet. Is it bullshit, or is it's it just aftermath footage, Patrick? Who the fuck knows? What is this on? BuzzFeed? <laughs> <laughs> Top <laughs> 10 whale capsizing videos of 2018. You won't you, believe number six. Number eight is crazy. <laughs> Damn. I will say whales are really, really cool in that, you know, the way they communicate to one another. And they're not like dangerous to humans really so that's not why i find them scary i find them more scary because it's just like this huge unfathomably large creature in like this dark 
underground Abyss. space. A gargantuan no, mammal. Yeah, I have no like, per, like per, it's like hard for me to even comprehend <coughs> that the space isn't space and depth of the ocean and these, these large animals. And so it's just like, ugh, it's fucking it's crazy. Fucking scary, like mind blowing. It's crazy. <laughs> we're at a point in our like uh, ocean life or out there that they they're we're running out of fish to eat. You know, and it's just so big, and we've only experienced so much of the ocean. Maybe like what five percent of the whole ocean we've discovered, or Which, even looked yeah, at. We know more about the ocean than we do about space. It's fucking crazy. Which makes me believe we know less that about that it. Sorry, also yeah, less. sounds like bullshit. But that, 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 that we're running out of fish. Yeah, I mean, I want to think that, but there's nothing like in it, open ocean like, really. Like, that's I'm like sure, a desert. I'm I'm sure there's stuff to it. I I, I clearly don't know, but or the I mean, fish like, have if just figured out how deep we can go, and they're like, goodbye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if 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 we still have so much to recover, like it, it's it can't be just empty space. It blows my mind how many like crazy things we discover in the ocean. They discover this huge like reef, like what is it, ninety five mile long reef that's over off the coast of like California or some shit. Sounds insane. Yeah, they found a brand new coral reef out there, but it's also crazy just knowing how big animals can get out there. Yeah, do you deep think there's, like, sea, sea gigantism. I think that's how you say it or something. I, I might have slurred that a little bit. Um, yeah, something like that. But they had, I don't know if you guys, uh, read about it a couple years ago, but they had this, uh, tag on this great white shark and it swam down to a, a lower depth than what they would normally go. And it, the, the temperature is usually really cold down there. This is and, actually true. Yeah, this I, is true. I fact checked this one. Yeah. He, she had a snoops me. Um, but when the, the, the shark got low enough where the water was like, I don't know, like 30 degrees or some shit or something right around that time or whatever. I don't know. I don't know that part. But it became body temperature at that that depth, and uh, so it went they, from the, like the, warm to cold to back to warm. Yeah. So what they thought is that the shark got ate whole by some monstrous creature. And it's a great white fucking shark. Yeah, this what? is crazy shit, and you should read about it and Google this shit if you get a chance because it is fascinating and it makes you think about how fucking crazy and dark and what the fuck is else out there in yeah. that ocean. Megalodon Juniors. Dude, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's giant predators that are in the deep sea areas. Like, they just got the first footage of gulper eels which, recently, which, which was should, nuts. It's saying that a bigger shark ate the littler shark. Is That's what, what they think, probably. I don't know what the hell. I mean, I'm sure it was a bigger shark. What other predatory fish is big enough to eat something like that? Megalodon. The Meg. It's a shark. That. It used to be. It's very dead now. That movie. For all we know. It could be alive. Who, who the fuck knows? We've only had 5% of the ocean discovered. Oh, they said very dead. We like, it's super dead. Even yeah. <laughs> most even, dead. Most dead. <laughs> even if that fucking thing exists, why do we want to find it? Just to know that it's out there. That's I don't it. know. What, what do you want to you know? You watch the Meg. You, you know that's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it is a bad idea. God. You fucking let that thing sleep or stay wherever the fuck it is. You don't go poking your nose in other people's territory, man. Can you fucking imagine... Can you fucking imagine if Godzilla was real? Like if there was creatures like Godzilla in the fucking ocean? <laughs> you lost us all all at once. We all looked at each other simultaneously. You're like, like, what are we going to do with this, Pat? What the, what the oh fuck? God, what, what happened? This? You really threw the ball in the air there, Pat. I mean, think well, about it. What happened, really the, the movies would happen. Uh, yeah. I mean, what would you do if there was a giant Godzilla creature? Godzilla. I would thank the Lord yeah. My that body I am temporary. in America. It comes yeah. out. My body's temporary, so just take me. Take, take me, take me. I feel like we could say that <laughs> pretty confidently until you're in the jaws of a super predator. Ah, like just being eaten alive. Please, no, oh, no. Just take me. We can all have a very fucking like it's all. No, it's fine. We can no. be gone tomorrow until you're being torn apart <laughs> in the jaws of a super predator. You're assuming that it's going to like straight up be like meow, meow. Doesn't even well, have like to he be... could just be like one and done. You're dead. And then you're going to sizzle to death in my guts. Mm. Jeez, yeah. get my but think about this like it's kind of fucked up when you think about other animals in the animal kingdom like swallowing creatures whole like that's yeah. kind of fucked up if you think about it they're alive in their stomach for until they suffocate basically or just dissolve humans do that too with like when they eat bugs because people still yeah, eat true. bugs you have to th also remember that these animals that are swallowing other animals whole do not have empathy like you do no true By they don't give means. a fuck yeah, they'll exactly. eat you alive they're doing it because they need to do that to live so that'd be fucked up if we they were swallowed whole by it. some yeah, fucking like, animal. That fucking snake's going to eat that, like that mouse whole and not think twice about it. That's fucked up, dude. Animal Kingdom is fucking metal. Let's get into more Nature's Brutal after our first it's break. True. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. All right, fuckers. We'll be, we'll be back. right back. And we're back. What's going on, fuckers? You're All right, we calm. were going to talk about Nature's Brutal, but instead we're going to get that. right into cosplay. 
which you do, Alex? I do. And you go to like the conventions, and what do you dress up as? Let's just go right yeah, let's get into deep it. into the deep end of this. That so, must take some serious time. Go on. Though. Yeah. Sorry. Um, the typical ones that I'll do is from Love Live School Idol Festival because I'm idol trash. Um, so I always dress up as no- uh, Nozomi Tojo from that. But other than that, my other go-to is always Hinata. That's like my... Hinata com- Hyuga from yeah, Naruto? That's my comfortable cosplay. I'm almost always Hinata. Do you um, put in the eyes? So that I do. They, oh, that's so awesome. I can't see. <laughs> like everything is hazy, but that's one of my other standards. The most recent one I did was Chun-Li, um, only because I wanted to be comfortable again. And I was like, eh, it's fine. My boyfriend went as Lobo, so we mismatched as fuck, but... There's that. How'd you get into doing it? Or do you guys go like, do you create your own costumes? Or do you buy them off the internet? Or Both. Like? So uh, the way that I got into it was Colossal Con three years ago. Um, a friend of mine invited me. But the reason he invited me was because they needed someone over 21 to sign them into the hotel. And I was his only friend over 21 that was into weed garbage. So I, I went, even though I didn't want to. Um, and everyone it's like super cool everyone's dressed up they were all dressed up and i was like that's cool and it's like a weird creepy bonding experience and i want to be a part of that so <laughs> started cosplaying with them um, did you run into a bunch of furries on your first like outing no colossal con is really really hot there ain't no furries okay <laughs> but the next one uh that i went to was ohio con which is uh in january which is really really cold so powerful lots of furries. furry presence at yes, that one roomed with a powerful furry so furry yes yeah, roomed with a furry so i was not ready for that like at all because i didn't know her but i knew jack so that was a lot um but eh, i mean you just decide if you're gonna do it or not there's been a couple of them that i've been to that i'm like i'm not gonna dress up if you were a furry what animal would you be good you'd be a cat yes without question or a giraffe why a giraffe? So I like, love how, giraffes. How would you do the giraffe? I don't know, but I want to be one. A really what? long I love neck. giraffes. So let's say, would you ever, like, let's say a scientist could turn you into a mutant uh, giraffe person. Would you do it? You just have a really, really long neck. No. You, you, you look like a giraffe with human <laughs> flesh in your face on the top of the I giraffe. I would just straight have, like, a long-ass <laughs> neck. No. The, <laughs> you would be a freak because you'd be the only one, but be, you'd be, be a giraffe. Ra- you imagine, it's so hard to fight. As it, a giraffe already, they use their necks and heads to fight each other. They fucking fuck shit up, though. Yes, they break each other's necks with their other necks. But like they're they, so gentle that you can feed them at the zoo. With you don't have no protection. Yeah, you don't have to fight anyone. You're not with at your ground head. level with them, though. I feel like they would trample the shit out of you. Maybe. Now, yeah. Think tusk, though, but instead of a walrus, a giraffe. E- explain tusk for the people that don't know what tusk is. <laughs> tusk is a phenomenal film created by the wonderful. Kevin James, psych. Smith. Kevin I, Smith. I need to see this. <laughs> Kevin James, how dare you? It's I on said Psych. It's on Netflix, right? Uh, yeah. I think, I think it's on they, Netflix. They I need to see to this Netflix? shit. Yeah, I think it's on Netflix. I saw it with uh, my good friend Billy Blaine. But anyways, uh, the the movie is about a man who runs a podcast uh, along with his friend, and he goes to Canada to interview uh, uh, in universe the Star Wars kid. Or the sa- the samurai kid, or something like that. He cuts his leg off with a sword, so he goes to Canada to interview him. The kid committed suicide because he was bullied online because of the interview, the the video. I love that so, you're laughing about it. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, humor's he does the best some way. most horrible things on the planet. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll laugh at your so, horrors. Yeah, so he so he he loses his story. So instead, he finds a post-it note Jesus on Christ. a wall at a bar, and he meets an old man, and the old man puts him inside of a skin suit. In the shape of a walrus. Yeah. So, that's so, you, so you're asking me if I wear it a is skin a good suit movie. in the shape of a giraffe? Yeah, they yes. turn you into a giraffe person. Yes. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Look, yes. you can still be a tattoo artist. You I've just never have been to more have, sure of anything else. <laughs> you would just have to have vaulted ceilings. Uh, no. Well, we already have a podcast, so the first half of the movie is covered. But now we just need a giraffe skin suit. <laughs> you wouldn't be in, bro. Come on. No. Sorry. No. I'm in, I'm out, fam. So you're not doing you're not a giraffe furry anymore. You're not on that team. If I so <laughs> that's kind of an extreme. I don't th- yeah, so <laughs> I, you know, I just I was just saying like I don't that. think I've ever seen like walrus furries either. So like Wa- That's very true. Start the start the fucking trend. No Alexis. thank you. You do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I don't I have can't. the time or patience. Me neither. Damn so, it. Yeah. Sorry. It's have you ever have seen any possum furries? I don't know. Mostly dogs. 
Because if yeah, I was a dogs, furry, I would feel like dogs, wolves, lots of foxes, and foxes. Yeah, those, I, those standard creatures. I'd for sure go possum. That way, when I was drinking PBR in the like Ohio gone, <laughs> like no, it's a prop beer. I mean, I'm a possum. I'm, I'm trash and just fucking drink it right in my possum suit. What color fur would your cat suit be? Pink. Pink. Would there be any like <laughs> patches of white or something, or would it be solid pink? Probably several different shades of pink. Would you change your name? What sure. would your fursona be? Lexacy. Lexacy. Like That's ecstasy, great. but Alexis. That was That's really good. Quick. Lexacy. When you thought about it. It's, really cool, it's also my stripper name. That's a good one. Interesting. Yep. Were you a stripper, or is that just like you no. got that name in the back pocket in case <laughs> you ever go down case, that road? Yeah, in case that ever happens, <laughs> I'm ready. This <laughs> shit goes sideways. Like, I already got the name planned Damn. out. I know I'm going out on the stage. I got the music. Yeah. Exactly. That's it'll it'll awesome. probably just be K-pop, and it'd be the most terrible strip job ever. I, I wonder how much money people would spend on that stuff to like be a furry. I mean, cosplay cost is a lot of money itself. It's expensive. It's crazy expensive. Not not necessarily cosplay. If you can make it, then it doesn't cost as much. It's just it costs you time. So how did you make your outfit? How how did you start this process? Because I, I think sew, that's fascinating. I can. I learned how to sew from my aunt. So I've known how to sew since I was a kid, but. Um, the first thing that I did was with my group of friends that they do like group photo shoots and things like that. I did things to help them out. So I did like photo shoot sets that would help them for like their, uh, cause the, the whole group has nine people in it. Well, they needed all nine people to dress up a particular way because these things have sets. So that's how that first started. I bought the set cosplayed with them. And they're also like a security blanket for the anxiety of people coming up to you and asking you questions. Um, at conventions, I'm not as anxious, though. So, like, at those, I'm ready to, like, tear down a nerd, like, get out of my face. But um, other than that, I just started just deciding I was going to dress up as people that I liked. <laughs> so, it's fun. What's yeah. the craziest dress thing that fun. you've ever built? Um, I don't really do a lot of props. It's mostly just clothes. Like, right now, I'm building props because I have to build uh, props for Najiri. She has big giant like gauntlets on her arms that like swirl up her arms too and then she's got things on her legs that swirl up and then I had to build um, well make not necessarily build but she has these big giant spirals on the top of her head that look like horns but they're made out of her hair so I had to make those too and then all of the wigs that I was finding in the right color all of them were too thin so I've torn up two wigs to sew onto one wig so that they're all thick so I actually have those with me which is funny because I was tearing them up at work <laughs> I didn't I've, have anything else to do. I have a friend that like cosplays Sean. We've had him on the podcast before, Sean Moore. He doesn't cosplay though. He does like whatever like cool video game characters and he'll, like do it for a Halloween costume, but make it all himself. Like one year he did the Borderlands like mask that looked like awesome. of the dude. He put the like psycho. yeah, he put the fucking neon lights in like the fucking helmet. He made it all out of clay. Found the right straps, dyed them the right color. And he doesn't like cosplay, but if he did it, it would be fucking crazy at it. When we were kids. He was obsessed with like Dead Mouse, like listening to it. So he made the whole thing. Like we went to fucking Home Depot or Michaels or wherever the fuck and got those styrofoam balls. And he's building all these helmets and he'll design a whole costume out of it. I always thought it was super cool. And then uh, that that girl, the most famous one in there, I, I would say arguably is like Jessica Negri. Everybody hates her for whatever reason or another. It seems like, but or hates on her. But she has some really cool informative videos on how to build this she's shit also where... really really nice like whenever you actually meet her she is extremely nice she, she seems loves like she her would fans be. she's yeah. really really genuine and nice to her fans and she's a big dork yeah so she just she's she's not like one of those cosplayers that's like i'm famous you have to pay to talk to me don't talk to me right if she sees you outside of the points when you're supposed to be paying for it she's still nice to you and still talks to you so you've met her a couple times as well my friend harley has i have not um he is really really adamant about her he's also friends with another cosplayer named anna mia which mia i have met and she's really really genuine and really really nice too doesn't right. get the attention that she deserves I've got nothing but respect for the, like, I've seen a shitload of people shit on Jessica Negri online, but, like, the costumes she builds are fucking solid, and, like, you see that she actually builds them herself, like, she does these intense, like, video tutorials on how she builds shit, and, like, the amount of patience it's, it takes to, individually with this, like, styrofoam shit, like, or whatever it is. It takes yeah. passion. Sit there and build a whole costume and then paint it the right color and assemble it. Make she sure wouldn't it's get as much shit if she wasn't attractive. Like exactly. her being attractive and selling sex, but also selling these really giant, big, 
things that she's building. That is where all the negativity comes from, where it's like weird neck beards are like, she'd be much better if she didn't have exactly. her tits out and everything. It's like, how do you expect her to hide those things? <laughs> like, they're gargantuan. These what do you want her to do? Fucking to incel nerds on Reddit that are all fucking crying because they aren't getting fucked themselves. They're, fuck those motherfuckers and they're but mad I'm, at somebody But about. I'm, I'm commenting that she, she looks nice, so she has to sleep with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Those guys, real nasally voice and shit. Nice guys. Real nice guys. Yeah, exactly. I had a point, but I fucking forgot it, so somebody else take the ball. I just think that's crazy that people can have such a passion to build these elaborate, awesome costumes. Some of them career. are so fucking it's, it's cool. It's art. I mean, it's a different form it of really art, is. but it's art, it, and it takes so much time. If you want to be something bad enough, you'll make it work. I was. I remember what I was going to ask you. Who's your favorite, like, like all time, like uh, cosplayers, like people that you're like, holy shit, these are amazing. Like, costumes who you follow? Whatever. Something that we can pull up real quick that we might not be familiar with. Honestly, like I said, the only real cosplayers that I've ever met would be Mia, which her thing is Animia. Um, she's really, really nice, really, really pretty, and really, really down to earth. Um, Did I spell it right? No. <laughs> How do you spell it? Well, I think that's it. It just right? it has a hyphen in the middle of it. Maybe. I know, so I follow her on Instagram. There she is. That's Mia. Okay. So the really, really nice, really down to earth, um, and attractive, which that definitely helps and plays into her she character. She did the Princess Leia slave outfit. Yeah. Now, when when I hung out with her at Lexington, um, it was Lexington Toy Con or Comic Expo. I went with a friend, so I'm not really 100 percent sure. Uh, she did <coughs> the girl from Dodgeball, which she collaborated with fans so that they all were dressed well. Um, and then like on the average Joe's team or the uh, whatever's Mila Yusuf Ibn Abdulaziz, she was blah, 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 whatever the fuck her <laughs> name is. is. <laughs> she's she was that's her. That's me. Yeah, gym. that's her. The globe truck. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! Was, global gym. So my friend Harley did her makeup. Uh, he tried to get hair in her <laughs> mole and she wasn't having it. Uh, but <laughs> she collaborated with fans so that they could all dress together and take pictures with them and everything too. So she's really, really, really nice. Um, other than that, I'm not really into following a lot of other cosplayers. I follow a lot right. of male cosplayers, but that's mostly because right now, My Hero Academia being a big deal, I've been following a lot of My Hero Academia cosplayers. Right. There's a lot of cool costumes in that show. Yes. Yeah. That show's awesome. It's fantastic. It's, if you guys ever get a chance, watch that show on Hulu. It's a lot of fun. I've been What's meaning to get into it. I just haven't Everyone had has a like a superpower. Have you seen my, um, have you, have you ever seen... One Punch, One Punch Man. Man. It's like that. Yeah, so, everyone has like a superpower. Most people have like a superpower, and it's about them becoming heroes. That's it. Yeah, it's eighty okay. percent of the civilization has a quirk, which is a superpower, and the people who don't are minorities, and they can get in this big school. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a lot like One the, Punch the Man. Main a lot of heroes. The main character, the main character, doesn't have one. They're called quirks. He does not have one, but. As the story goes along, obviously, he attains one. You ah. figure out how that happens. And it's a lot about his personal development and growth, but also relationship developments and growth. The, it, he, it has phenomenal character development. Yeah, it does. Some of the best. I would say on par with Hunter x Hunter. I love Hunter x Hunter. Hunter you x introduce Hunter me to has that. fantastic character development. Some of the best in any like series I had ever seen. I would argue and this ship is on it in. Par. I would argue shipping in all day. Okay, was, uh, but what about Oran High School Host Host Club? I don't watch shows about male <laughs> prostitutes. Yeah. What is that? that one? It's what is it? I know what it is, but I haven't watched it. Just what is it? <laughs> it's a show about male prostitutes. It's ridiculous. Like you see dick? No. no. no I don't no. know because I don't watch it. <laughs> no. No. It's like, a, no it's, like a, it's like a cutesy like girl anime. So yeah. What? And I don't and do a lot. I don't do a lot of girly stuff. It's a cutesy. What's it called? Girly male prostitute. Or on high school host club. No, it's it's not about male prostitution. <laughs> they're just hosts. They just you know they host parties. Are they naked stuff. all the time? Or no, just they're like in high school. Female prostitutes <laughs> are getting are, weirder by the second. <coughs> What's you it called? should already know the anime is a dark place. Or on really high school is. host club. I don't know. I can't remember. It, was it hasn't. Years. There it is. I was about to say it has an A in it. Got it. Yeah, yeah it's I just can't cutesy. go. <laughs> it's 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 seriously way too girly. Holy like shit. I couldn't do it. This is wild. <laughs> this is really weird. Yeah, yeah this is I weird. I can't go. I can't go in the animes that look like that. There's apparently <laughs> one anime that colors. starts off as like 
it's supposed to be like super cutesy like this in the beginning and then it turns into a hell fest like throughout the entire <laughs> thing like it just like gets sent to hell and one of them gets turned into like a crazy fucked up demon and like all this you mu- are you talking shit. about corpse party because corpse party starts off yeah that's cool. some weird Maybe. shit it's a four episode ova and it starts off with these children like in school and they're like we love you it's one only- of their one of them's leaving it's also oh, a video it's not game. This, you said it's only no, this, four this episodes. This is it too, long? but this is a video game. It's a yeah, four episode original. There's all I know. There's a ton of video games based off Corpse Party. <laughs> yeah, and they're freaky as shit. I thought the video games, the video games might have came first. I'm not sure, um, but it starts off with like kids singing and like happy in their classroom. Um, one of the kids is like leaving, so they have this little bitty paper doll, and each one of them's touching it, and they have to rip it and think the same thing at the same time, and it means that eventually their souls will come back to one another, some stupid garbage like that. Well, anyway, um, cut to scene. They're in a school. They're in the, the same school, but it's like their old school, and it's just murder fest. That's it. People are dying in the dumbest fucking ways, it, like blood everywhere, guts everywhere, guts and buckets weird limbs being torn off it's fantastic total grossness yes yeah, super grody and i love it <laughs> was anime and all that shit like your introduction to doing art or wanting to do art or what was no the... um i'm just naturally into it like my family's really into it so um well family members are really into it so just drawing for whatever reason i started off drawing like powerpuff girls right like stupid <laughs> like that <laughs> you know they used to beat the shit out of mojo jojo have you yes, ever they seen did. like they're, his they're brain pops terrible. out at times. they're some terrible kids he's minding his business and they bust in his house like what the <laughs> fuck are you doing so mojo jojo on the powerpuff girls are about these three sisters made with sugar spice and everything nice I have a little taste of chemical <laughs> eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they used to beat the shit <laughs> out of this <laughs> monkey. His little monkey brain's hanging out the top In of his In particular, little this little one with bubbles right <laughs> here. On, you that can... episode, they were like, what did you do to bubbles? They bust in his house and like whoop his ass. They and he's like, I'm fuck. sitting here in my in my towel. Like, <laughs> yeah, they beat the shit out of that monkey. You guys are forgetting his brain was always exposed. That's why he yeah. wore the helmet. They didn't like bust his fucking skull <laughs> on his fingers. <laughs> like, his teeth are all over the ground. Like he's his legs are bending in different directions. <laughs> he they he can't open his show, eyes. Show. He's fucked up. Like that's paralyzed. Because they had superpowers. They beat the sh- He's just a regular monkey with super smarts. But, but also this super man smart. was living. He this show a- also is like really weird. Where like he, they made like a special needs sister. Her name's Bunny. Oh, what about? He yeah, did, I remember yeah. that one. He didn't Let's tell this one. He Go didn't on. typically live in a normal ass house either. He lives in a volcano in the center of town. Yeah, what the always fuck? Always threatening the people. Let's also talk about uh, what the fuck. Yeah, the what is this that we're watching here? Okay, so Bunny is their sister that they created because they want another sibling, but they don't know what the fuck they're doing because they're children. So like they fucked up and made a special needs sister. They still made yeah. a. They <laughs> still gigantic. made a fucking well, person. Yeah. They still made a person. Though. Because it just requires sugar, spice, everything nice, and some chemical. You know, I watched this show. <laughs> they just threw it in there. <laughs> I watched you, this show pretty heavy back in the day. You guys, I'll be see, honest. You, you want to see how Bunny got created? You want? <laughs> but she talks straight up like. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Up. <laughs> Oh my! Holy wow. shit! We're about to get. I'm gonna lose YouTube. my mind. Oh god! Please stop. Was it really this long? Oh my god! Wow, they really put some emphasis on the oh uh, my god. <laughs> special needs there. Can you imagine if you did this episode in 2018? <laughs> nope. <laughs> They'd be shut, shut it well, down. Back then, they also had the character Him, which was like this trans- trans A trans, man. A Cla- trans, a trans lobster devil. man. Yeah, what the fuck? That was confusing as fuck for a lot of people, I'm sure. Yeah. Growing up. Yeah, definitely. What the fuck? See, as a kid, I was just like, that's a lady. And then it would like man voice. And I'm like, that's a dude. You and can't... then later on, like, it still would talk like a man. And I'm like, Sh- that's that's a man heels. dressed as a woman. And I just left it at that. Like, <laughs> you guys ever watched the episode of the kid who uh, just eats like a gallon of paste? And oh turns my into, god, it's <laughs> bagley. And he just turns into a giant paste monster and they have to beat oh, him yeah. up. And he was just eating glue in the first place because they made fun of him, and then they just beat his ass in the end of the episode anyway. Yes, I, I, remember I remember this <laughs> like it was yesterday. <laughs> Poor kid. Like, you do not feel empathy when you're a kid, though. You're like, fuck this kid, yeah, though. What a yeah. fucking asshole. Yeah. No, he was bullied. That's very true. <laughs> 
It's fucked up. Unfortunately. The shit they could get away with in older cartoons. You yeah, ever, there you was ever, some fucked up shit. You watch old Looney Tunes cartoons, they're hitting each other with spike bats right in the yeah. face and dropping anvils on their faces and shit. Oh my god, flashback. I can't watch this whole fucking The noise three that minute. the glue is making is disgusting, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He looks, <laughs> okay, he so looks, people that are just so listening, <laughs> people that are only listening to this, this is a kid's cartoon. All right. The kid's eating paint. He's eating paste. Not it's paint, not paint. a hardcore porno that we're watching. But, like, but he is straight, Hentai porno we're he's watching. He's so terrified. Like, he's so upset that he has... It's like he has to eat it. He's like Fat Bastard. Like, he eats because, because he's he sad. To. Yeah. But he's sad because he eats. At, but it's paste. At, at, least it was on, at least it was on Cartoon Network. Where it should have been, and not on like Nickelodeon. Well, like fucking SpongeBob, Nickelodeon for example. Nickelodeon had like Ren and Stimpy though. Like yeah, Ren and Stimpy was true. free. I was forgot about the prime <laughs> days of Nickelodeon. <laughs> Ren and <laughs> Stimpy. Rocco's Modern Life too. Rocco's, yeah. yeah, you guys are forgetting about Angry place. Beavers, y'all. Y'all are forgetting about Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers used to give me nightmares. Angry Did it Beavers really? was the yes, best. They, they terrified the fuck out of me. Their really? faces, yeah, they were They're just, awful. But they, well, <laughs> I will say, like Angry Beavers, uh, they made logs look delicious. Yeah, they did. <laughs> logs, yeah, logs. like it's better than bad. It's they good. Have you guys pe- ever seen this Ren and Stimpy thing right here? It's about to be horrifying because Ren and Stimpy is <gasps> fucked up. Ren and Stimpy. So is Cow and Chicken. That shit was fucked up. Yeah, that shit was fucked ridiculous. up. Ridiculous. Watch this oh, real quick. Ren and Stimpy, huh? call the police. Hmm. No, sir, I don't think I have any use for rubber nipples. Rubber nipples. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? <laughs> this, mo- this is nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, my this God. This is nightmare fuel. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy that whor- fuck! That that okay, audio listeners. This horse is about to have his way with the walrus. <laughs> yeah, this horse is covered in like rubber surgical gloves, Latex. and every time he turns, you can rubber hear like rubber nipples. The, and they're trying to run and stamp. You're trying to sell fucking rubber nipples door to door. It's a horrifyingly weird. Oh show. my god! They, I miss the nineties. They put a lot of detail in a lot of things I didn't need to see that much detail of, like asses and <laughs> mucus and fungus and horrible. Are you about to? Oh, here we go. Cody's pulling it up. Dude, look, cow and chicken can, was weird. They his courage. The, the parents had no upper body. <laughs> they ate butts. <laughs> <laughs> they ate butts. That was their favorite meal. Was chopped off butts. Happy meat. Is that what they called it? What it that is says. called happy meat. That's so, I think that's the name of an episode. That's, that's they eat straight ass. up they eat sawed <laughs> off cow. They're pig Those are ass. Pig ass. Pig so they're ass. they're animals that eat other animals, which is weird. But it's just like it, it but looks they're not like, like carnivorous animals. So how do you? So let me animals. ask you this: as a vegan, would you ever like? Let's say there was no other plans to eat, but there was Venus flytraps. Would you eat Venus flytraps even though they eat meat? Um, you would secondhand. Uh, I, Powder toast, Receive. Man. Um, when it meat, I don't think you can eat a <laughs> Venus flytrap. Can you eat them? I feel like you. I mean, can't. I would just die. Can you, you Google that, Cody? Can you, young <laughs> Cody? Venus flytraps edible. <laughs> yeah, can you eat a Venus flytrap? <laughs> Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I bet you if you just type in YouTube, <laughs> eat, a, eat a Venus flytrap, someone's doing it. Carnivorous plants... Okay, let me see. Let's face it. When most people think of carnivorous plants, Venus flytraps are the plant... That uh, doesn't answer thanks. the question. There we go. That was just a, a description of what it is. They are flytraps suitable, are for, suitable eating. for eating, can be consumed, though they are a protected species, and there can be significant limitations on what sort of harvesting is legal. Huh. My my luck, though, I would eat the part that you can't eat, and I would just straight die. Like a, like the puffer fish or whatever? You can only eat that little yeah, tiny fish? Yeah, the blowfish, yeah. It's like one a, inch it's portion like a, I think it. it's a blowfish, but yeah. I think that, I think that's about the same name. What was it's that fish we were talking? Monkfish? It was a monkfish, So it'd be like yeah. a monkfish. Yeah, that guy. You can eat little bits of him. No. What, hey, what on high. there are you going to eat? You can't take... You I sh- don't know. I don't eat them. You shouldn't be risking the biscuit on anything that could kill you naturally, even if it's dead or tamed. There, like, there's just... There's a chance. Aren't there fruits and stuff you can't eat, though? Like, if you if you don't... You shouldn't mess with those fruits, then. Don't like eat cherries. wild berries. Like, cherries have cyanide in their... Um, in, in, the the pits, in the pit. Yeah. So yeah, they do. Apricots, but you don't eat the pits. I but you don't eat the pits on purpose. You'd have to eat a significant well, amount wanna... for it to harm you. Yeah, but like that's for what I mean. Like it's you... much, it's much more dangerous because it's a more concentrated like 
version of cyanide. I just I, I don't know why I knew yeah. this. Did you guys, when you were younger, believe that uh, if you ate a watermelon seed, that a watermelon would grow in your stomach? Nope. Can't say. I, can't you never say believe I that. I heard that. No, man. There was a Dexter's Laboratory episode, I believe, about that, where Dee Dee or their family had a uh, watermelon seed grown inside them, and they were freaking Literally out. Literally, if you exploded. eat enough of them, is like helping your point. How, How toxic is cyanide? Probably pretty toxic. No, well, makes you commit suicide. <laughs> 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 uh. Typical apricot kernel weighs 0. 0.6 grams, and studies have shown on average that one kernel contains 1.8 milligrams of cyanide can vary blah 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 it's also got something about cherries i don't know too much shit i to guarantee read that randomly. there's some people some psychopaths that have tried this like n- some fucked up nurses or something that are fucking around with old people and they're just making them drink rid- ridiculous amounts of cyanide from fucking cherry picks <laughs> <laughs> or some sick fucks. or scientists to- looked at a cherry pit studied it and realized there's cyanide in it and went hey if you eat enough of these it might kill you Hmm. I'm a nurse. I'm going to try this with my elderly patients. I'm pretty sure that you would just shit out these seeds whole. So I don't think that... Because it says that you have to crush it or chew it for it to happen. Oh, it says, shit? is there enough cyanide in apricot and cherry kernels to cause harm? Obviously, this isn't a black and white issue since there are people who claim eating these kernels is healthy. We'll what? talk about these lunatics later. First, let's <laughs> what? figure out some toxicity data. So I don't know how reputable this website is. But. I love it. I love it. You, I, yeah. People need to be more upfront. When yeah, people 100%. are being dumb, you should let them know they're being dumb. So what's the the world's smelliest plant? What is that plant called? There was like a durian, big bio plant. Durian fruit. Is, based off, is it durian fruit? Yeah. Well, Would no, durian eat? fruit's stinky and gross, and I've tried it, and it is super gross. It is it feels bad? Like I've always wondered. Rachel oh, yes, and I watch Chopped, really? and they, yes. they make it in Chopped. Yeah, you can get it at Jungle Gems. Um, so... Doesn't yeah. it taste I'm like fermented check cheese? That out. I've heard it smells it's horrible. It's so nasty. I've it never smells had like it. Just, no interest. It, uh, it smells like just wide open asshole. <laughs> Why and did you want to eat this? Because I was in the weird shit. What, well, Anthony Bourdain infamously loves. You get durian. those points where like yeah, me and me and loved. my boyfriend were going through a point where we were like we're gonna eat different weird shit from Jungle Gems every time we go here, and that was we got to that. And I was like, let's do it. They had it on like all kinds of different eating, like cooking shows. So I'm like, let's do it and get into it. And I'm like, it stinks so bad. It smells awful. It smells like just trash. Disgusting. Is so it really so that bad? you get past the smell? No. It, no. <laughs> it feels like you're eating snot. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds yes, awful. It's so, it feels like a loogie. But like you eat it? Did you prepare it? No. You just eat it. It was so Ugh. nasty. But... A jackfruit and it are in the same family. And jackfruits are really good. Yeah. I've so heard jackfruit. yeah, jackfruit's really good, but it's so disgusting. It feels like you're eating a loogie. What were we gonna say, Luke? Oh, nothing. I was I was gonna ask exactly that if she had prepared it or just ate it raw. No, just raw. It, it we looks ate it so just like harmless. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get one and try to eat it during the podcast. Yeah, like yeah, podcast go ahead. Challenge. You have to clear this house out. We need to start doing something weird on this thing. Well, let me ask you Listeners, this, like, let us know if we need to start eating spicy noodles or if we need to start eating fruit, fart fruit. Does Luke need to eat a scab on the air? I am not eating a scab. <laughs> and don't worry. We'll ignore all of you because they're probably shitty ideas and we'll run our podcast that way. <laughs> I don't need your fucking input. <laughs> but yeah, fuck durian fruit. No, it's disgusting. Would, oh you, would you rather eat durian fruit or uh, meat? Meat, 100%. Really? Durian, durian is disgusting. It's really that bad? Like, it yeah, would make it's, you it's so not bad. be a vegan? <laughs> yeah. That's I'm so only, interesting. So, I'm vegan because um, I can't have dairy anyway. And my mindset, because of work, is I don't want blood in my mouth. Why would I put blood from another creature in my mouth? Because it's delicious. <laughs> I will not deny that it does taste good. I just, I can't, I can't get past it. Like, I see it and I'm just what like. What if it's like fried chicken? If, if it, it makes nope. you feel better. Um, There's no blood in that. But it had blood in it. But it's not there anymore. I mean, so, it's true. So here's the thing about the blood whenever you cook something, right? So there's definitely like hemen still in it. All the blood's gone, though. They have to it's drain still, the blood out of the animal. There's, my there's hemen like, left. Yuck. But like, I mean, it's not really. And they also, a lot of places will add like a, a water soluble like protein and like salt and add it to increase weight of a lot of meat you're buying from Kroger's and stuff like that. So when it's bleeding, it's not really bleeding. It's a mixture of the hemen and the... Uh, the water and sodium thing that they've added to it. You Listen. know, lots of stuff. But <laughs> when it comes to meat in general, I haven't really, I haven't eaten meat, fish, or anything like that in years. Um, I have really weird stomach problems too, 
and not eating meat made those stomach problems dissipate. They're not gone, but they have gotten better. The same thing goes for like cheese and things like that. I'm lactose intolerant. God, I love cheese. How cheese could is, I give it cheese up is ever? delicious, and I'm really sad that I don't eat it. But I can't deal with being sick all the time. It was enough to like make me not go to work. <laughs> that makes sense if you're yeah. doing it to change your life. Luke, what's up? Cody, your shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you eat meat like Cody. Yeah, Our it does it does make them worse. Nightmarish, but I... so do not be surprised when someone goes <laughs> Fuck no, I don't eat that. <laughs> but you never hear about the good poops. I thought about this the other day. You, you have a good poop. <laughs> poops. I do. That's shocking. I do have good what, poops. What are They're you, not all what nightmare are, fuel. How short are your are your good poops? If you say five minutes, then then that's still a bad poop. Yeah, what's an average poop time for you, Cody? Average? Like we need to, yeah, let's I, I have so many co- confusion so much confusion and concern. They could over be anywhere from like a minute, like if it's a real quick slider, to like <laughs> a thirty minute. I have to take all my clothes off and pray for God in the bathroom stall at work. Here's cartilage cracking, and your boots come untied, and you're yeah. just like, oh, no. I don't believe in God unless I'm taking a fiery dump, and then I believe in God a lot. <laughs> oh my God! Or if I'm on a plane, I believe in God then too. <laughs> I'm doing Catholic shit. I was raised Baptist. <laughs> if there's a God, please. Oh please, negotiate yeah, no. with it. Yeah. yeah, and if I have to take a fiery shit on an airplane, I'm gonna find a way to kill myself. So you probably have quick poops all the time, then. Yeah, but you like, never have some a brutal poop you're ones. Sitting out those there. are the ones I tell you about. Are they actually? Co- I had to stop eating kale, so on the other side of feeling <laughs> bad because of like, I'll answer yours in a minute, Luke. But on the on the thing of <laughs> feeling bad because you're eating like uh, meat and cheese and stuff. Like I felt bad when I was eating kale, and I love the taste of kale. Like I can't get enough of it. Kale's great. But Every time that I eat kale, I shit out fiery death and blood. <laughs> a lot of a lot of people blood. are like that. Though. A lot of people body are you eating, I like, looked it up, and your body doesn't. How often are you eating that. vegetables, though? Because like I, I eat vegetables every day. You say, I have friends sure? that like they don't yeah. if they don't eat a particular vegetable regularly. When they get it, their body is just like, oh my god, vegetable, and then sick. No, I love spinach and lettuce, and I make salads at work so all you day. Hold on, greens a lot. And, yeah. you got you both just said that. He said that he shat out blood, basically, and you said that can happen when you eat kale. Because I didn't say that. I hate kale. Rachel no, said I, did. I, 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 I was saying that a lot of people have like gastrointestinal issues with like leafy greens. That's actually really, really common. Yeah, I don't. I, w- I don't know about shooting out fiery, bloody stools. I'm not no, saying that's. Common, I'm exaggerating. But I, you know, I, no, he's ass. not. No, I'm he's exag- not. Listeners, sometimes. I'm no, he's not. No, I feel like Cody's so like up- got cursed poops. Yep. Your poop is a prime topic. It's it is. We yeah, talk about it every episode. You haven't heard <laughs> the episode. stories. Nope. Want to hear one? Yeah. Let, let me, you got to hear <laughs> how bad this tell, is. Tell one of you taking your clothes off, at least. Oh, okay. And she's like, I, uh, well, yep. I'm fucking here. I'm in it. I'm in it. A lot of these are I woke up hungover as fuck, and like I just feel horrible, and I like I consider shitting myself instead of like leaving my bed. Like I never do. <laughs> But it's a possibility. <laughs> it could happen one of these days. I'm in there dehydrated. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know where I'm at. I probably slept for three hours. I wake up in my office chair. Like, still home. drunk. Oh, oh, with a past blue ribbon, like, fucking spill it all over myself. And then I just hear gargling in my stomach. And I'm like, I can sleep that poop away until later. And you can't. You're just in bed sweating like you got the flu. So, yeah, I had to get up and uh, run upstairs because I remember that the bathroom downstairs, or got to the bathroom downstairs, like your asshole is prepared to take a shit when you get into that bathroom door. And when I got to this downstairs bathroom door, my butthole was like, we're pooping now. And I was like, oh, no, no toilet paper. And then I had to hold that in, like, all the way up the stairs and shit. And then I uh, got into Grandpa's bathroom, and it was a bad one. It was a struggler, but it felt like it was going to be a quick one. And, yeah, just peeled all the clothes off. I'm taking fucking <laughs> socks off and shit. I'm glad that Pat's getting this for his Snapchat, me yeah. talking about my bloody dumps. Real All right, spicy. You get the idea. That was horrible. I don't know what to Real tell spicy. you about it. Oh, my All right, so you've been, you've been there with me. I've painted a picture for Not you. Not me. No. I, I've never been <laughs> in that territory. I've never, yes, I've never had to just be, like, stark naked to <laughs> make boom You've boom. never taken your clothes boom off boom. taking a shit because it was horrible? No. Nobody no, I room? don't think anyone has had that uh, problem what? but you. Like that's why it's so this fascinating. Time and again, bud. <laughs> have you ever you, pooped you know so we, hard no that you were sweating like... by the time you were done? <laughs> yeah, but like I've it, never been like, you know, what's going to make this better? <laughs> <laughs> Take my clothes off. <laughs> I don't know what it so is. So that'll be that much worse if I die on the toilet. And then you have to roll from the toilet to the bathtub without using your legs <laughs> and turn it on and hope for the best. I, I have a funny. Oh my god. <laughs> well, my poops are 
you gotta take the the old poop rape shower afterwards. <laughs> sit in a hot shower and cry while my asshole bleeds into the drain dramatically. You need to <laughs> get to the hospital. Yeah, dude, I think John it's time Mellon for you to book yesterday a fucking doctor's appointment, dude. <laughs> I said it's not. God damn. It's not every time. It's just something. You know what? We bring this up like every episode because we're we're secretly concerned. Like, are you okay, buddy? No, you're not. I am. I never get a concern text message about my butthole. It's sometimes only ever. sometimes you come over and you got to use the bathroom. And I'm scared you're going to poop. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you're going to fucking it's gonna bleed all over his my fucking sacred toilet. zone. He's, He's afraid this the is the time on. that you poop, you die. He's afraid <laughs> he you're going to die in his the house. shower on. Are you afraid that I'd... <laughs> if we turn if you turn the shower on, then we'll know. <laughs> Are you shitting again? Well, sometimes I do go shit the shower and just turn on the cold water faucet right into my butthole. <laughs> Nothing's better than icy cold water. I got that one of those... was a very true admission just now. I got one of those cool like uh, shower handles <laughs> on the hose. You could take it off. Like if you're a girl, you could have fun with yourself with it. Turn it on full blast and fire hose my asshole out after a real bleeder. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Wow, you can't be making this up, can you? No, you can't. Wow. All right, you... so Alexis, you sad two people. <laughs> I, I do, yes. <laughs> so so anyway, after. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Sorry. Yeah, that was ridiculously inappropriate, Cody. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been tattooing for? Uh, Since 2007, so 11 years. Damn. Yeah, I'm old. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not, but still. <laughs> That's pretty wild. I was do tattooing you... in high school, so... So do you feel like you're learning something every single time you do a tattoo? Like you're learning something new? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every time. Like literally every time. Um, now, when we had Jimmy and Mike on from the Pike, Pike Tattoo Company, they had, they had talked about, um, you know, being a tattoo artist, you have to know your limits and being able to say no to certain people. Yes. So when at some point do you feel comfortable as an artist to to make that next step like i think i can make this incredibly detailed piece or at least this moderately detailed piece or... i know my own limitations pretty early on mm -hmm. like if somebody's like well, i want a portrait i'm like i cannot do that i will not do that yeah that's gonna be my next question yeah portraits are really really hard not a lot of tattoo artists do them i am not into them either i don't personally like them okay. so i feel like that definitely portrays in the tattoo if you don't like it yeah um if somebody asks me for something that i just it the second that i see like their reference because everybody has a reference. Everybody uses the internet. But as soon as the second I see their reference, if I'm like, I, I can't do that. I, I refuse to do that. I'm not going to have a good time. There's, there's several different reasons I'll turn down something. But most of the time, I won't. Like, it's, I want words. I can do words. How do you want the words? I got plenty of books for you to pick through. Awesome. We'll do something like that. I'll draw my own. Do you want to use a reference? Don't want to use a reference? Great, because I like not using a reference. So you don't like my design? Well, fix what you don't like. Maybe you don't like the way that I draw. Why the fuck are you getting tattooed from me anyway? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> there's, but usually, or if somebody's being difficult, I'll draw a design for them and then they decide, okay, well, I don't like these four points. Okay, we'll fix those. Well, now I don't, after you fix those four points, I don't like this other completely unrelated point. Okay, I'll fix it. And I'll, I'll fuck with you for a while. Yeah. But this, as soon as you start frustrating me is when I'm like, I don't want to tattoo you anymore. So here's your deposit back and go somewhere else. Okay. And usually that's when they're like, no, 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 I, I take it back. I like the first design. <laughs> Cody, you should pull up some of her work. I saw the Sailor Moon dagger you did on uh, Samantha Thanks, Southern. Yeah. And that looked really, really Thank good. Thank you. That was based off of, um, she sent me a tattoo from another artist. And after she sent it to me and we set it up, I did not look at that tattoo again. She sent it to me Damn two it. months before her appointment. So I did not look at it again. You're going to see some hot garbage just looking it up like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there's Leather Daddy. What? So I'm seeing this. Uh, this I saw this on Instagram recently. Um, your post with these. It's like a squiggly line with different colors in it. So This is for a band called BTS. Um, so this is from their Love Yourself album. Um, so this is on actually one of their albums. And then the heart is on one of the albums as well. She didn't want one from... Their other album, they had three different albums. She didn't want that, so all she wanted was for it to go all the way around. 
So we just like threw in some loop de loops and made them connect. Yeah, I think the colors just go really well. I, I guess I, I guess seeing it up close like this, I thought you faded them in, and I was like, how did you? Is it do hard that? for you to do the gradient like that, or was it with just it being like... a line? Yeah, it is really difficult. Um, just because you know skin doesn't react the same way that like paper does. Right. So and after it heals, especially, and it starts to fade a little bit. Amber is really really pale, so that's the only reason that this was going to work well for her. Oh, she whoa. has another tattoo that we did that is just Pikachu. Um, and to see how well she would hold white, I put a white outline around the outline and I was like, we'll see how this goes. And it still looks great. It looks like a sticker. Um, so now I know with how pale she is and she never tans either that this was, that there's blood all over the side of that one. I didn't, I just noticed there's blood all over the side. You kept the gradient really steady all the way through. Like it stays blue on top. And these, like for the audio listeners, there's like squiggly lines connecting like what it looks like a flower and a heart. And the flower and the heart transition between like a, a pale blue to a darker blue to a purple to a to a red at the bottom and throughout both sides. Like this of the is tattoo. yellow, but it's bleeding. Okay. So like if it wasn't bleeding, it would be yellow. But that's the last color I is did. Is there any so. uh, orange in there? There's yeah, <laughs> well, I see some blurple. <laughs> There's definitely some orange. You can see some orange right up in here. There's so some when you're orange. tattooing someone, this is a question I've always wanted to ask tattoo artists. When you're tattooing someone, you're adding a bunch of color and all the shading because there's so many needles there like so much it's just such a colorful mess right there as you're tattooing how do you know where you're staying in the lines like you get what i'm saying (laughs) um that comes with practice that comes with experience so you'll see some of the like older tattoos that i've done really really old stuff that touch up was awesome thanks guy when you do the older tattoos um you lose track of where you are so like i have my stencil to the left and then i end up hitting it just slightly to the right with like fuck and then you figure out you thicken that up a little bit that goes away but still it's not exactly where i fucking wanted it because uh a lot of tattooing is just winging it you know figuring out what you're gonna do while you're doing Trial it and error. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense but being like, real confident with the client that you yeah, know what you're doing yeah, like, it's, it's, yeah it's cool i just fucked up it's fine yeah i know what i'm doing <laughs> yeah i'm the professional here have you ever told a client that you messed up on something Absolutely not. No, why would you ever do that, Patrick? No. Absolutely not. Lie, now, lie, lie, later, lie. Later in my life, I do tell people if they have something that I'm not happy with that I will ask them to come back to let me improve on it so that I can see my own improvement, but also they get a better tattoo out of it. There are a couple of examples of that on my Instagram. One of them is really recent. It's a pumpkin boo, and I did that uh, four years ago. And Go back what? up. What? That one That's on the an left. amazing you drew that? Okami This is not piece. mine. This is from a comic. Not from a comic. From, it's from the video, video game. game. Yeah, it's from the Okami? video game. Okami? So yes. I believe. Yeah. Is this where you painted like uh, the designs on the... Wasn't this a PS2 game? Yes. Where like, yeah, you had a PS2 brush game. or whatever? Yeah. I didn't own a video game system until I was a teenager. Okay, fair so, enough. So, yeah, because I was poor. But... Same. <laughs> yeah, the amount of... Like, I think Sailor what... Man, okay, Sailor this Man. is what I wanted to talk about earlier is that I feel like in Cincinnati... You stand out with a lot of artists. I think yeah. there, if you think of a specific person, like you think of a, a grouping of people that does tattoos, one of the top names that's going to pop up is probably going to be your name. Well, thank you. I but don't think so. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Just from, I mean, I, even though I haven't gotten a tattoo by you or anything, I know people enough in the, the industry where they talk about you and they say good things. I think you have a very strong following and I think you do really, really well with these specific colors and cartoon designs and anime styles. I think you are really, really good at what you do. Thank you. I suck at compliments. I do what makes me happy. Um, and I think that even if it's not the best, because I honestly, I don't think that I'm that good at all. Um, I, you can still see that I had a good time. That's what I think matters. And then I'm making other people happy. Um, you can definitely tell that I put forth a lot of effort into doing things that visually appease me. Like, even with the witchy hand that you just clicked on. I wasn't expecting her to be like, I want black and gray. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but I still did it the way that I wanted to. It's still sparkly. It's still cute. Um, and like, she enjoyed it. I so. can tell it's still fresh. It's got all the bleedy parts. This is super fresh. And uh, this is on someone named Katie. Katie's really, really pale. And her skin gets irritated really easily. So right. I really don't like this picture because you can see red all the irritation and red and you stuff. Can see, it almost like, this is all squiggly. And, yeah. like, in person, does not look like that. But she has another tattoo from another artist that I work with that when he did her tattoo, I was like, that's hot trash. That looks bad. And then I saw it healed, and I was like, it looks great. It looks fine. It's just I don't see anyone else in Cincinnati doing these kind of tattoos. I feel like if anyone's going to go to someone that's going to do this, they're going to 
be recommended you like i see this on facebook all the time someone would be like i need a t- tattoo artist around the area tag someone you're one of the top people that gets posted on there and there's like 10 likes 15 likes or some shit like that yeah i think that your artwork is fantastic especially with your color scheme i think that fits well you have this badass pink nintendo controller the control the colors are, are very they pop out they just really pop thank you i suck at compliments I don't know how to handle them, um, but like I said, I, I do what makes me happy, and I feel like that definitely, you definitely see it. Oh, what? That's a fantastic that's on Anthony. Hearts uh, tattoo you that's got. That's not you, you said? No, um, that's on Anthony. Um, that one in the middle up, that is yeah. fantastic. That's on a couple, so that's already their knees. How do you uh, tattoo he, he galaxy <laughs> designs? He passed I, out. Yeah, he passed out. Aww. Damn. <laughs> What do you do when someone passes out? Do you just keep tattooing? Like, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> you have yeah. to wake them up first. The only reason that it's funny is because I wasn't ready for it, like, at all. Because usually they give me a warning, like, I don't feel good. But he's sitting up in the chair, and this is right underneath his knee, and I'm just going at it, talking to his girlfriend who just got tattooed. And then he sitting up just, like, and, like, falls over the back of the chair. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing, guy? And then she's like, he's just playing. And then I went to go like, hey, are you okay? And he wasn't talking. Like I was like, he's out. <laughs> no. I was like, he's out like a light. So we pick him back up, get him together. And he just driven like 13 or 14 hours and he didn't eat. And I was like, why didn't you write this on your paperwork? <laughs> it was you, like, none of this. This is all the reason that you fill out this shit so that I don't. So I know to expect this. Do you think it was the pain or was it like he was scared of the, the needle? Or Based on another artist that tattooed him, he's a weenie. He, oh, okay. he, he did it to her too. So we we discussed it. We discussed him. <laughs> Dude, I saw Weenie pass out in fucking health class one time. You know the health, the infamous health class. Like, all right, we're gonna show you infected vaginas and penises. Like, yeah, the picture. This is what no, happens. Be you don't wrap your dick. There was a kid like leaning back in a chair, and he was notorious Weenie and shit throughout high school. And that's like such a great notorious word. Notorious Weenie. That. Notorious <laughs> Weenie. Super dork. Kyle, if you're listening to this, and I doubt you are, especially not two hours deep. If this was the first one that you listened to, you're a super Weenie still. But um. <laughs> Calling you out, weenie. <laughs> yeah, and then he was leaning back in his chair, and then they just like started like this is syphilis, and this one is uh, gonorrhea, and this one's, and then like you just see the dude, he was right in front of me, like his head's getting wobbly, like a baby head, and just out clunk hits his head on the back of a fucking table and just like laid himself out and started like bleeding on the floor and shit and they I, probably weren't ready for that like is that a fucking thing bro i couldn't stop <laughs> laughing though they said that people had passed out before on them like it happened all the time in high school or whatever but uh yeah i don't know whenever you said that it reminded Wait, me of i don't really get fainters a lot um when it comes to tattoos it's more common with piercings um but i think that's because they handle more people at one time mm-hmm. i could honestly you know tattoo every day and it, i only to see five people while a piercer has to see multiple people a day, right. several different, several different things too. Some people more might numbers not, of people, more things. Are yeah, they happen. might not pass out when they got their nose pierced, but they passed out when they got their tongue pierced. Like they, they have might to not run have passed that out risk. when they got their dick pierced. Yes, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, well, the guy who's dick she pierced did not pass out, so I mean, it's fine. You ever <laughs> tattooed a dick? Nope. Would you ever tattoo a dick for the right price? Six hundred dollars. <laughs> no, dick tattoo started off at a grand. Really? Really? What I got I got I got to look at a dick. That's a g- <laughs> it's gonna start off with my price. You gotta okay. touch it. Settle this. Is debate. that a regular going rate for dick tattoos? Now I'm so curious. I didn't know Maybe. there was a starter price. That's it's for just your, your price. Oh, okay. It's yeah. because the guys that ask me about dick tattoos are just like, "Will you touch my dick?" Ew. Like they're not like, uh, "I want a tattoo on my penis. Would you be okay with it?" I want a pink sparkly something on my dick. <laughs> it's always like dumbasses. They're like, "I want Wonder Bread on my dick," which I know someone that has that. Um, I want what? Ta- I want tap out on my dick, which I know someone that has that too. What? Are you fucking serious? And he's got they have tap out on their dick, and he's got four inches. <laughs> wow! So I've been, I've, been, <laughs> I've, I've been told that it's it's not impressive. <laughs> oh, I hope you you're get, listening, bitch. Bro, you get tap out on your dick. You better pull a fire hydrant out of your pants. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's got tap out, but the out is like up on his pelvis and shit because they couldn't fit it all on his dick. <laughs> Showed a girl around the corner, and she goes, "God damn, your dick is small." It's like, oh. <laughs> Shit. Pain. <laughs> Would you uh, tattoo a vagina? I have. You have? Well, not vaginas, but you know, because like vaginas? that's up in there. What was like, it? Like Homer Simpson with a mouth as the labia? Usually, <laughs> yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is that shit? Usually, girls just get like <laughs> hearts, names, all that other dumb like guys' dumb names, dumb girl stuff. Yep. On their vaginas. Yep. But there's also one one person in particular has an ice cream cone tattooed on hers. I did not do it, but I touched it up, and she's super grody. So I probably shouldn't have brought this up Damn. what's the girl version that's of like, schmagma that's like the female like gucci mane 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. before, yeah. Before Gucci Mane was the thing, this old lady had this on her because she's what? pretty old. So she's old. And she has she's, a. She's pretty old. If you're on the west side and you see a very tan woman jogging, very very tan, over up uh, near where Avalon and stuff is, where was? What color hair? White, like white blonde. <laughs> Oh my god What if she was like And she plays tennis So if you ever see her over there In that tennis court playing That's her I tattooed her vagina I'm keeping eyes and out And she's got a big snake On her back too On fire I didn't do that She's like You wanna eat my <laughs> pussy It's like burr You like ice cream <laughs> Oh I didn't know It was that kind of ice cream <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Oh no <laughs> She was grody though She's pretty grody So what do you do that? Like you I don't know Put I don't on your customer service face Do it and then cry later <laughs> like it's like a cutting an onion kind of. <laughs> oh, I got my eyes. Tattoo <laughs> pussy is like cutting <laughs> an onion. <laughs> the onion makes you cry right away. Yeah. Like, <laughs> such a sad Delayed vagina. release. Yeah. So, now the, the last one that I tattooed, she already had a tattoo and I touched it up. But she was a little weird. Like she, she was really eccentric. Um, she had mistletoe tattooed on her vagina, which I was like, ha ha. Like the so word funny. or like No, a... like the actual plant. Uh -huh. um, but I was just like, ha ha, you're funny. And... Um, she asked, like, do you know why I have mistletoe on my vagina? So I'm, like, already in it. Like, uh, a, kiss, well, a kiss, kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And then she, she yeah, straight you. up, like, looks at me and just goes, it's the sperm of the gods. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> like, Wait, what did she say? She said, it's the sperm of the gods. And I was just like, ooh. Like, went back to uh, what I was doing. Okay, okay. lady. Okay. Yeah, I was like, you got me next to your sperm of the gods. So, like, I don't really want to be in this. Like at I all? Don't, I don't think it, is it, okay. Um, Who the fuck knows about that shit? I don't anyways? think that that's true. Snopes, Snopes, <laughs> Snopes, Snopes, Snopes. Sperm of the gods. Snopes. Fucking Snopes, it, dude. <laughs> if you look up sperm of the gods, it's gonna pull up fucking Frank Gallagher's fucking drink from Shameless. Sperm of the gods. Uh, what? Hold on. Is Bishop is Eddie broken, Long, dude. the word of <laughs> God is his Your sperm. mouse is not letting me do what I need to do to pull this up, fella. Use the mouse and the keyboard. No, bro, we need batteries. Oh, okay. That's I think it's pretty clear that mistletoe <laughs> is not listed, one. so... <laughs> yeah, that woman was it just looks crazy. like it's a bishop that's talking about the word of Shit, God for his sperm. What There's two naked Lego people in one of the pictures. What, what, what the fuck? Why are there two <laughs> naked Lego people? What is she... Do I need to go back to the naked Lego people? No. Yes, Luke? What if she had escaped oh from a cult? She's really excited. Why is it the first uh -oh. picture under Sperm of the God? And that's what, what is they these white fucking brainwashed? It, there's two singular uh, Lego pieces down there, and I guess that's cum. Huh. Lego huh. cum. Wow. She looks disappointed. I mean, she looks, she looks like a Lego okay. piece. Yeah, she looks okay. She's just like, eh. She's probably waiting for the dude to go get a towel or something. So... Would you ever tattoo an asshole, or have you tattooed an asshole? <laughs> I have not tattooed an asshole. But would I you? have tattooed relatively close to them, but I will not tattoo them because they're what do you mean, probably going like to get a gooch? infection. Yeah. You tattooed a gooch? Yeah. It's it's. it's what, what do you get on a gooch? Usually, like names. You get words. Like it's dude. It's it's only been this once. Is my baby daddy's name. Yeah, it's only been once, but it's been a name, and it's on a man. And it was another man's name. Would was you? it Harry? <laughs> no, because he trimmed up first. No hair. <laughs> Did you still have to shave it? I always shave everything. No matter what was what. the look on your gooch? face when he was like, I want my gooch tattooed? Uh, outside, fine. Inside, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be me. Because <laughs> it's, it's always me that gets those fucking questions. Would you ever do like an octopusy type of uh, piece? Like a vagina cut. Like like there's this that, girl. That, yeah, from the vagina all the way around the butt, all the way down the legs I've to the that. ankles. Like, sure. Wasn't, isn't there some porn star that has like a giant like bottom of an octopus? That's out of exactly her asshole? why I said yeah. octopussy. Yeah. You can see like videos That's of her twerking That's in her New York. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever met somebody that tattooed the bottom of their feet? Yes. Really? Does that hurt a fuckload? I've or? been told that it does. Um, I have done them, and they've they, they've been said that it's either fucking awful or it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't Ooh. hold, so it's stupid. Because I heard the tops hurt a lot because it's all close to those bones and ligaments. And tops such, are brutal. The bottoms are so sensitive. Like, yeah. You just barely poke with a well, feather. Well, like, they're also <laughs> just calluses. So, like, we're not really... Pen, like penetrating the skin enough, right. so we're Weird. just we're going through calluses. It's gonna erode eventually. Like it's gonna come right the fuck off. Or like like mouth how tattoos. soon? You're not having like that really shit soon. Like honestly, it heals. It's like gone. A couple months? No, not even. Like that bitch ain't two weeks? Up. Yeah, probably. You shed your calluses constantly, and like she said, you're not tattooing into the dermis I, of the skin. You're tattooing in the fucking like, yeah, in the callus. Your skin would have to be like straight up baby fresh, and there's no way that you're gonna 
I don't, get a tattoo I don't get it. why people want to tattoo the inside of their lips or the palms of their hands. Ran out of space. They just want something. Yeah. A lot of Most tattoo artists, don't. a lot of tattoo artists who do the palm of the hand too, just because it is painful. Um, so it's one of those situations of like, I live through this, which is stupid. But really? What, yeah. It's like a pride thing when it comes to it. Yeah. I mean, I've had people asking for it because it hurts, not because it's going to be cool. If that makes sense. It's been shit like that. The inner lip thing, though, is just like when people like septum piercings were a big deal where everyone's like, I want a piercing, but I want to be able to hide it. Same with the tattoo. I want a tattoo, but I want to be able to hide it. And it's also super cool to be able to pull my lip down and show you a tattoo, which and people, usually says like dick or pussy or something. I tattooed the word cunt. Yeah. Why? Why in the inside of your lip? Do you feel like why you not? The reason you do anything. Because she wanted a bad word tattooed on her. Wow, she must have been 19. Yeah, fuck you, dad. <laughs> I'll show you. Ugh. Me tattooing it, she already had the word classy cunt, and it ripped, it like wiped off. So she did not have that anymore. She only got me to cover up what was left of classy cunt with cunt. So, so she had I, classy cunt written on the inside of her lip? At That's one cool. point, at one point, yes. Wow. Have That's you really done eyeballs? You might know her. It's my friend Kels. So she's yeah. fine with that, too. But Have you done eyeballs? No. No, you can't do that. Are you yeah, sure? I mean, yes. You can do it in prison. Yeah, well, we, we legally can't do it. Well, yeah. You have to inject what? into the eyeball, right? Yeah, injecting sterile ink in, into the sclera. It's, it's in it, or like the aqueous humor. I thought it was in the... Yeah, it's that it shit. I'm not doing that. It can make so. you go blind. Yeah, yeah. it definitely fucks fuck people you up. up really so, badly. You shouldn't get an eyeball I don't know tattoo. if you can say it on the air, but what's the trashiest Worst. tattoo <laughs> that you've done? I've always wanted to ask any tattoo artist, because I'm sure that some people are be like, oh, Fuck this tattoo. Like, this looks <laughs> terrible. Like a PBR. You want that tattooed on you? So, or one something? of my coworkers has tattooed PBR on somebody before, which is hilarious. Um, and I think Moses has a tattoo of PBR. He might. He does. I would yes. get a PBR tattoo. What, what the fuck? <laughs> you say what are you saying, you Pat? I'm uh, drinking. Uh, uh, nothing, I Cody. Like, you I saying like you got the, a problem, bud. I got fucking. <laughs> Stupid choking victim as tattooed you're drinking on me and get PBR, right, PBR now. right next to it. I'm just saying, like getting get a beer cool tattooed on the other on side, make it a whole thing. Anyways, the I feel like the like, I don't really do a lot of weird shit like that. I don't really get asked to anymore. I think the weirdest thing, I've, like trashiest thing I've ever tattooed on somebody was uh, Candyland on their pelvic bone. They're stripper like the too. words, yeah, like the logo. <laughs> So <laughs> logo with the candy, candy canes. land, and that's what her vagina is. You can probably look that shit up because that's like a candy common cane thing. Candy vagina tattoo, candy lane, you can, you candy can. land. I can't talk. Now we, we when we had support long on, <coughs> we had asked asked or talked with her about uh, ignorant tattoos. Yeah, have you ever had to do one of those before? Define ignorant. Like where they where they've asked you to make it look that? shitty on purpose with the rainbow. Um, and sort of like when people ask you to do their design by their relative, I understand that you want something that means a lot to you because your relative drew it, but it doesn't really translate well as a tattoo or it kind of doesn't look good, but you think it does because your 15 year old niece drew it. We get asked to do things like that all the time and having to either break somebody's heart or do a shitty tattoo. Like there's your, you have the fine line. I decide I'm just going to break your heart and like not do it. <laughs> I'd rather not have my name attached to like something super bad. Yeah. But I don't really get asked to do things like that much. I have like the circle of people that I tattoo regularly and then like their circle. And then every now and again, there's like one rogue person that reminds me why I don't usually stray outside. You have a very of strong following. Circle. Yes. It's a very, yeah. <laughs> Just, Dedicated people yeah. that come to you specifically. Yeah. Or if they, if they want something that I can't do, I tell them who can do it. And they usually are like, Ooh. but they'll do it. And then they're like, wait, I want you back. So like, <laughs> I get that. Sometimes well, when you too. get a tattoo, I mean, maybe I'm the exception because I go to a ton of different artists. I've been tattooed maybe by ten different people. That's common for artists. Yeah, um, but a lot of a lot of people will be just like, I only get tattooed by this person and only this person. But I mean, I, I like to experience other people's art. I feel like, in my opinion, yeah, it's Quality. really common for artists to get tattooed from other artists. They don't really stick to one specifically. But for like the average Joe, they usually are like, "You did a good job on my one tattoo. I'm gonna keep coming back. You did a good job on my last four tattoos over the last ten fucking years. I'm gonna keep coming back to you." And um, then with that, their friends they want a tattoo. Well, they want something I can't do. I'll tell you who can do it. Or, or they piss me off, so I don't really <laughs> want to deal with them that much either. Right. I had someone recently that um, 
Now, she, there's no way she's listening to this. So I don't give a shit. But Calling you out. Here yeah, we go. It's, it's <laughs> happening. Here's that juicy shit. No, it's not. She's super fucking annoying. But she came into the studio and wanted to talk to someone about a tattoo. Um, I priced the tattoo. Tell her, like, well, with what you want, you don't have any reference images. You don't exactly know what you want. So it's going to be better for whoever works with you to stick into a price range than it is for us to give you a price on something that doesn't exist. Right. So she tells me... My price range is $320. And I was like, that was weirdly specific, but okay. Um, she says, she keeps saying, I want an Indian woman, which I was like, please say Native American, because that's what you mean. But she keeps saying that. She wants her with a headdress on, which whatever. Um, and she wants her to look like a portrait, where I'm telling her, I don't do portraits. So if you want me to do it, it can't be a portrait. It can be something else. But she specifically keeps saying portrait to me. And finally, she's like, well, I want you to do it, so I'll just do whatever, however you want to do it. Take her deposit. She leaves. She had been gone for, I think, three hours, and she called to see if her design was finished. (laughs) 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 Her appointment wasn't for another two months. So I was like, absolutely not. It is not. Throughout that two months, she called every fucking day, or she showed up at the studio to see if her artwork was finished. And I kept what telling a, that's her. That's psychotic behavior. Yeah. 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 Like, like, you're obsessed, dude. Yeah. Well, I'd give the money back. I'd be like, I'm done. <laughs> there, I'm it was, it was to that point where it was her appointment was on a Monday, and I left work early on a Thursday. She called the studio while I wasn't there, um, asked if her design was ready, and Anthony already knows, tell her, I will call you when it's done. You probably won't even fucking see it until you get there because I – this is how I work sometimes. I can't make it come out of my head if it's not ready to. But she then hangs up, calls back. He, th- he said like three or five minutes later and then asked if I was avoiding her and that I shouldn't do that because she's a paying customer. And I told him, I said, call her back and give her her money back. I don't want to talk to her. So I'm going to come in tomorrow. I'm going to call her and tell her to give money back. My boss messages me at 11 a.m. We don't open until noon. And he says, hey, that crazy bitch is here. She wants to see her artwork, and I'm like, show her this picture, and if she has a single fucking complaint, give her her money back, and I'm going to beat her up. So <laughs> there's no, yeah, Those are two things that are going to happen. I'm going to get there. I'm going to beat her up. But she liked the artwork. She left. She didn't fucking bother me again. When she got the tattoo, she sat there stone silent, which was great, finished the tattoo, and she's like, I'm going to have you do all of my tattoos from now on. And I was like, I am booked for the next several years. Do not talk to me. She's yeah. called. She's she called. Like, okay, cool. That, that makes yeah, sense. she's called wanting to set up stuff with me, and I'm like, nope, nope busy. Not Doesn't happening. matter. I'm busy every time that you can make it. Doesn't matter what the fuck it is. I don't care if it's a name. Eat my ass. So, <laughs> no, Damn. I hate this woman. I, it's really that's a really strong word, but I have a very strong dislike for this person. Frigulate. It's okay to hate people sometimes. People are fucking annoying. Everybody's scared. This of- this particular person. So, what's was- your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> Um, doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be tattoo related, but it can be. I'm gonna take a guess that it's persistence. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not persistence. <laughs> is my is my drawing ready yet, dude? That 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 is one of the things. But I understand that you know you you're anticipating it, you want to see it. So I'm not really that bothered by it. Um, can you give me a deal, bro? That too. Yeah. <laughs> can you give me a deal? How how much for a sleeve? How much for a sleeve, dude? Yeah, that's one How big I thing you get. Let's just do it. Let's just do it in an hour. Think we get it done today? Think we get it done today? I'm coming in today for a small can, sleeve. Can I come in tomorrow? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> can just I come in tomorrow? Bang it out. Let's just bang it out. A figured tribal sleeve on my leg, bro. How about that? Yeah, I don't really, I don't really get, I don't really have any like pet peeves. Really. Does tribal still come into tattoo shops? Yeah, I mean, yeah dude. Are All you the serious? time. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have, when the fuck do I ever see a tribal tattoo? All the time. Like on old fucking dudes that used All to be the bros, time. like heavy bro dudes back or like in the day. People that are unimaginative where they're like, I want a tattoo, but I don't know of what. So I'm just going to get. I guess. Stuff. But I got a question. I guess I just don't hang out with people that get tribal tattoos. Go ahead. Pat. You don't hang out with anybody over 40? You ever. <laughs> I you ever, do. Yeah, for sure. But like, Damn. most of them don't have tribal tattoos. They have cool tattoos or none at all so let me ask you this have you ever had a customer that was unhappy with your artwork and you ever had something like that happen yeah um where there's a particular person i'm doing a portrait of her dog eventually eventually um but we're adding other things to it other elements to it these other elements she has been extremely picky about each different point where she's had me move things change things i change one thing well now after changing that one thing she doesn't like four other things so we've been dealing with that. It's been a year now <laughs> since I took her deposit. There's not been a single drop of ink on her skin. 
because I haven't been drawing it. <laughs> I don't care if she says anything about it. I just I haven't worked on it because she frustrated me yeah. to the point that I needed a break from it. But she only gets tattooed from me. And she's like, well, I only get tattooed from you because you're patient with me. And I'm like, it's about to be out, bitch. I need you to stop. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I need her to stop. Like, really bad. But um, what was the original question? I brain farted. Pet peeves. Like, have you, yeah, pet no. peeves was the original question. But I, I was asking if you ever had someone that was unhappy with your work. Not, not the tattoo. Like, not the actual tattoo. Um, that's been a really long time for that. And the only way that I even find out is because they get it covered up and I see it from one of my other tattoo artists mm-hmm. where I'm like, good, that bitch is gone. <laughs> I'm ready for that to be gone. So I bet it's such a surreal feeling to get like to tattoo someone. It's such a sacred art. And when you actually do that, like you go down, like let's say years later and you see someone like, hey, look how your tattoos pulling up. Like, look how it looks. How's that feel? Um, Both like great because this person is carrying something that I gave them um, for, until they die. But also sometimes not so great, just because sometimes they you look at it and you're like, that's bad. That healed terrible. And I never saw you again, so I never got to tell you it healed terrible. So how You would I tell get, someone, like, hey, I this will, looks like shit? I will 100%, no matter what, ask anyone that I tattoo, if I don't like the way something held up, I will tell you, let me do something to it. Because mm-hmm. I, if, I, if I don't like it, how do I know that you like it? Or even then, you might think that it's great, and I'm like, it's, it's not don't <laughs> just let me fix it so that it is <laughs> we all grow as artists so like i'll see something that i did and i'm at the time was like badass and then now like four years later i'm like no hate all my old art hate yeah. it all Fuck that, all that's of it. an artist thing though yeah Every, everyone feels that way about their art it's I, different I when like. you're it's definitely different too when you're dealing with something that's on somebody someone's wearing this and it's permanent that you see that you have to also have the interaction with them like i can't just pick up the canvas and go back to finishing it without anybody bitching. But what's going to happen is you're like, I don't like my tattoo on you anymore. What's wrong with it? Well, how should I trust you to fix your own fuck ups? Like there, there's that level of trust you have to have between them and convincing them to let you work on them again. Where like the most recent one was the pump kaboo that I fixed where she's been coming to me for ages, but That's she one gets, with the galaxy behind it. The one that I don't think that I don't, I wouldn't connotate it as that, but it was sparkly stuff. So like, yeah, it was definitely some sparkly shit behind it, but it, uh, with that, I wanted to show people how a tattoo that I did would look healed and settled and old. And I went to go take a picture of it after doing another tattoo on her. And I was like, whoo, so that one, this one, no, that, no this is a pumpkin. Go back, um, go back. A p- pumpkaboo. It had like the ghost inside the yeah, pumpkin, down, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a Pokemon. It's right there on the left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that was your. I was going to ask you. This so the is one my on the own left tattoo. is your old one. Okay. Yeah. This is it healed uh, over four years. Look at how much you improved. Yeah. It's thanks, fucking guys. crazy. That's why I did it because I went to take a picture of it to show people like this is something healed and settled and I saw it and I was like, let me touch it up and she goes, what's wrong with it and I was like, you will see when you let me touch it up. True. So then I touched it up. She bitched the whole time. She's great, but she bitched the whole time. And after I was finished, she was like, I didn't even realize it looked bad. And I was like, whoa. I love the <laughs> I love the white lines that you had. I do that with a lot of illustrations, like heavy dark black lines with the white line. Like, it makes contour. them look like stickers. And yeah, it helps I them stand that. out I, from their background. Because I love illustration work, so I put those white lines. Like, you can kind of see it. That thing's dog shit over there. But on the spikes on the, the guy's head, I do the same thing with that. And then the fucking bright colors to make everything stand out with the stars. It looks really good. I wanted yeah. them to look. Thank you. I I wanted them to look like you know ghost type, ghost type, psychic type. So right. definitely, you, went you with nailed that, it. Thanks, you fucking friend. nailed it with that. Solid. I do what makes me happy. That's all that matters. Yeah. All right. So, we're about hour ten in. So yeah, yeah. So this is the last segment. We're gonna read a couple of would you rather's or man to mans that we like to call. Um, basically, they're would you rather's where we ask you whether we're fucking nasty and horrible. So just answer honestly. You have to pick one or the other. That's it. So hey. this is our last section for you and Rachel. Man to, to man. man. Jesus, that was what happened. One, two, three. <laughs> man, man to, to man. man. Woo. All right. You ready to get fucking blasted? Wreck those innocent ears. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is. So tonight we're going to read a couple from our guests. Where would all this uh, energy come from? You're going to get blasted. Yeah. You're going to get blasted. Yeah. Tear your asshole apart. <laughs> Smash that, that like means. button. Fuck yeah. Subscribe. All right. So Tiff Coleman was the first person to uh, comment on this status. Would you rather be dis uh dis hold on dismembered with a plastic knife or blow your dad? Uh, dismembered. I hate my father. Rachel. 
uh, dismembered. That's fucking. Yeah, that's really horrifying. strange. Tiff Coleman, you're a fucked up person. Uh, but we love you and we appreciate you on the on the page, bud. You're a real bastard. Well, Tiff, um, I'll answer your question honestly. My dad's dead, so I'll blow his corpse dick <laughs> <laughs> all night <Damn>. long <laughs> over getting dismembered well, with a. Spoon. Don't worry, he comes back and he always ha- he always has great shit to post on that shit we on need- our page. I hey, love I'll that just dude. say this on the air. He's been asking to come on a bunch. Can we I, get this? Yeah, I'd love to get him out? and Steve Worth on. And Eric get both Browns, I'd love to get all of them. Guys, on. we just we're fucking. We're we booked do, till the new we're year. Booked forever, and we fucking. Dr- I drink and smoke a lot, and, and we'll get there. Forget we'll things. get you on there. Trust us, you're on our <laughs> list. Uh, here's another one from Tiff Coleman. Would you rather be forced to watch your parents fuck every night for the rest of your life, or join in once? Damn, uh, that's tough. Oh, Jesus. I, I honestly just rather be forced to watch. I've seen it before. You'd so. be forced to watch for the rest for of your life? how long? Tiff didn't include for how long dad it's, lasts. Uh, yeah, at some point, it, you're desensitized to it. So you're just yeah. like, hmm. I guess it's I, I go with that, too. Because well, like, I'll never be able to let go of, like, the hor- the mental horror of having sex with your parents. But yeah. what if you found out that your parents were into, like, some real freaky shit? Like, your dad's... Like, BDSM. Or yeah, your dad's like tied to a crucifix and all latex <laughs> with He's just a furry. his dick hanging out. And He's like, Well, furry. you find that out when you were having sex with them, too. So... <laughs> the singular time. <laughs> but you could be the one cattle prodding your, dick, your dad into balls instead of... Like, you wouldn't actually have to have sex. What if that was their thing? So then... I honestly, I would rather watch because I would have to not be just like. <laughs> Damn. I've Loopholes. at least I've at least seen that before. You get desensitized eventually. It's uh, whatever. Oh, interesting. All right, from this this one is from uh, Mark Hammett, which we should definitely have on. He's awesome. Uh, would you rather eat a regurgitated cookie or suck the sweat from a dump so- a damp sock? Sorry, damp so wait, sock. Eat a regurgitated cookie or suck sweat from a damp sock? Cookie. Yeah. Uh, cookie sock. at least tastes like cookie. But, but like it's regurgitated. Cookie. It's gonna yeah, be very puke. slimy. A pukey would, cookie, but it still tastes like cookie. I couldn't eat puke, so I I, I would do I would do sock. <laughs> couldn't eat puke either. I would do the sock. What kind of cookie? Um, double I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna chocolate do the fudge. I'm gonna do the cookie. <laughs> double this is a hard so it looks like good poop. Yeah, really but difficult. the like, I feel like the cookie flavor would be totally annihilated by stomach acid. But sock like, sweat's gonna taste like sock sweat. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, not, that's, all. that's gonna it's be gonna taste brutal. like what feet smell like. Okay, have you seen so, the Jackass video where they drink the sweat? Oh yeah, that was horrible. That turns out really badly. I, I feel like drinking vomit would also turn out really badly. So. I feel like either of these you are equally vom- horrible. You will so. not vomit if you eat or drink one of these. You just got to do it and deal with the taste one time. Yeah, I oh, sweat. I have a kid. I've eaten barf on accident. You've so. ate barf what? once? You have you have a child. These things happen. They puke in your mouth. No, what? not like straight up barf, but like some of it's gotten in your mouth. Uh, Look, be honest with me. Poo? Did you swallow any of it? Yeah, yeah. What else are you going to do with it? You, you just, swallowed it? Spit it I out. Had I had a kid. You swallowed <laughs> someone else's spit vomit? It out My the kid. Other option. <laughs> How do I mean, you think this no, conversation said, started? She just said she did. It's oh super, she it's said, super What's nasty, the other though. option? The other option is spit that motherfucker out. Why are you just Because you're trying it? to clean up your kid. You want me to just let it linger in my mouth while I'm like covered in bark? I would spit what? on the kid. Spit on the kid. How much you're already cleaning him up. Lots of puke, man. It's a kid. Like it puked. He puked. The kid. I didn't know if it was a he or she. Sorry. It's okay. The kid puked in your mouth like your cheeks blew up like no, you had a mouthful. No, not like that. No, not like straight up like mouth <laughs> kissing my son. <laughs> and it, like he barked <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> you think her baby just like filled her mouth up to like the brim just, with vomit it's like a cartoon. somehow? Yeah. It's one of those situations of, you know, they're above you and you're having a good old time. And then they yak. But like when they yak, it like gets all over in and around your mouth. Jeez. Yeah. That sounds awful. <laughs> kids are disgusting. It sounds awful, but I bet like when you have kids, it's very different. Yeah, when it's, it's your kid, it's different. Yeah, I like my kid. My kid's an asshole. It sounds so, so rewarding getting puke in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that part's not. It's a bonding like, moment. Cody, it's like a bonding moment. scooping shit out of a baby's asshole like that. <laughs> you like, like you're scooping <laughs> it out of them. Get out. <laughs> With an ice cream scoop and you're it falls sick. up like an ice cream. We're, you're, we're gonna catch fucking Cody with a flashlight and an ice cream scooper. God damn. Over <laughs> his baby. No. I don't think you're gonna. <laughs> All right, keep going on. So this is from Soya Creel. Would you rather have the Bill Cosby cocktail or eat a peanut butter and jelly asshole sandwich? I'm assuming a peanut butter and jelly asshole sandwich (laughs) is where you make a whole peanut butter and jelly and you shove it up the ass. The whole whole sandwich, like you roll it up like a fruit roll-up and you shove it up your ass, like cram it on in there, and then you have to suck it out. That's what I assume. I'll take the drug cocktail and let uh, Bill Cosby finger my boy pussy. It's fun. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) 
<laughs> Damn. It's okay. I'm not eating the peanut butter jelly ass. That sounds horrific. <laughs> At least I don't remember the I fucking I feel like your, your description of it makes it sound terrible. I imagined it having like, you know, like something like chitlins or something disgusting on it. Because like I could handle that and I, don't, I won't have to be drugged. Wait, you're, what, the, the Bill Cosby thing? No, or the peanut butter thing. You should have a whole peanut butter and jelly yeah, sandwich. I, 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 really I said your, your description of it. Yeah, your description of it is not accurate. I feel like... What do you think that is? Like you just... Uh, like someone I figured farts it was peanut, peanut butter, butter and jelly, jelly sandwich? and asshole. Yeah, like that's an, what I think. And asshole. Which so like wait, chitlins yeah, is asshole. Of an asshole. So it's peanut butter. It's a full course meal of a peanut butter and jelly and the side of asshole. Like someone's asshole. Is that what you're saying? Can I fry it? I'm, I'm confused. Cooked no, I'm imagining peanut butter and jelly crammed into an asshole, and you have to suck like you're trying to get air from the bottom of the ocean through a straw to get this peanut butter and jelly out this butthole. <laughs> and you know what? I'll get drugged and molested first. No, if, thank if, you. If it is that description of it, then yes, I'm going to do the drugs. The but if, but if, it's, if it's my description of it, then I would rather have the peanut butter, jelly, and butthole. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, too. Okay, okay. Uh, this is from Rachel Fields. <laughs> Take a peanut, uh, <laughs> take a butter knife and scrape the toe jam from a homeless man who has worn boots all summer and spread it on a cracker and eat it, or swallow hair left over in the drain after he took a bath. Hair, one hundred percent. Hair all day. Hair, it's mine. I mean, yeah. it's gross, but like that's better than <laughs> nasty ass toe jam. I mean, it's just a it's just a little bit of toe jam on on bre- on a cracker. Wow, you Ra- taste the cracker. Did you what What was the name of the listener that sent this in? Rachel Fields. Wow, Rachel, you're as good as Pat at this game. <laughs> I was just about <laughs> that. Damn, yeah. <laughs> like this was a Pat written one. Yeah. Did you share that you didn't hand it to Rachel to send in? I, I got a couple. Fr- oh, so, Thanks, okay. Rachel Fields. Don't stop listening. Yeah, keep listening. Uh, this is from Psych. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Rachel Fields. <laughs> Never met her in my whole life. <laughs> this is from Aaron Lube. I think that's how you say her last name. I feel like a douche. Who cares? Keep going. Uh, would you rather have <laughs> sex with the hottest person you know that's freshly dead or have sex with the ugliest and smelliest person, uh, but they're alive? Hot and dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, wow. even festering. Hot and dead. Uh, Hot no, dead. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with alive. Because at least, you know, the that's not illegal. The smelliest, ugliest Whatever, person. <laughs> <laughs> Rather can... than a hot, fresh, dead person that probably doesn't even stink. <laughs> dead people stink, like, right away. They shit themselves. I, yeah, I think I would they do shit themselves. Garden hose that shit out and be like, Let's it's say the hottest Gordon person I've ever seen. She's only a little out. blue. It's all right. <laughs> oh Not even purple God. yet. Whoa. Wow, Rachel? those eyes are freaking me out. I got to do that movie thing where you close the eyes. <laughs> They're not closing. They're not closing. <laughs> oh, no. It's like a doll. No, no, they just keep opening it. <laughs> well, I'm here. She's looking bloated. All right. Well, I got to do something quick. I feel like fundamentally I just couldn't have sex with a dead person. It doesn't matter how hot but they the are. But the smelliest... Ugly. Well, I'm the smelliest, ugliest person. You probably <laughs> mad. <laughs> I mean, that is true. Yeah. So I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty obvious, right? You're yeah. not gonna have sex with a dead person over me. Right. I feel like okay. we're about to awkwardly get into their sex life. <laughs> let's let's fucking air also, out some laundry. Also, Aaron, um, would you rather drink a vomit from a dark alley uh, ground, like the dark alley ground vomit that's been puked in a dark alley? Or puke in a, in your mouth every time someone said your name. So any time someone said your name, they puke in your mouth. They puke or you puke? They it puke. Into mm. your mouth. Oh, wait. You puke in your own mouth every time someone said your name. I vote How that. How much? Like a whole mouthful. I'd rather... I, I can just, Even if it was like a lot. Like, like to the border of you almost spitting it out because it's so much well, rushed into your mouth. What if you never introduced yourself to anyone anymore? You're like, I don't have Or even name. then, I introduce Hi. people to me as like a nickname. I don't give them my actual name. You have a yeah. nickname? You would have Alex. to start lying. Alexis is my actual name, but everyone calls me Alex. Literally, no one calls me Alexis. My mom and the police. So, uh, <laughs> on your Facebook, it says Alexis. Hold up, bud. Let's, yep. Would let's you prefer this to be Alex? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Alexis on Facebook because that also helps me to keep track of people that don't know people that know me so they'll add me on facebook and in my my instagram even says alexis as well they'll add me on those things and if they call and refer to me as i was told to speak to alexis then i know that they don't actually know me but if they say alex i can ask them who sent you That's and then it's somebody that i know so helps me keep track of all of that that makes sense. So you guys uh, drinking a vomit from a dark alley or puke in your mouth every time someone says your name, including nicknames? Oh, sh- wait to add that. I'm a puke still in my own mouth. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. twist added at the end there. Puke you guys are, You guys are pukers? Okay. Yeah. Puker. yeah. 
Who's the next person? Uh, Raymond Robin. How many do we got? A lot. Uh, would you rather? Eat I gotta piss. I'm sorry. All right, Maybe cool. we shouldn't. Well, do... we actually are almost done. Okay. Um, I can wait. Would you rather eat a meal that Gordon Ramsay thought was delicious before vomiting it? Uh, or I what guess like all puke. the vomit. Yeah, Jesus that's Christ. The, people are gross. Like how creative does vomit disgusting. get after disgusting like 10 fucks. would you rather? We haven't even had one poo question yet. I'm disappointed in our <laughs> listeners. I'm not going to lie to you. Step your poo game yeah, up, We wouldn't hear your poo and butter and scab fucking would you rathers. Not this shit. <laughs> Or lick Danny DeVito's butthole after he ate Indian food. <laughs> Wait, what was the, there's what the was, poop. What was the I don't care what the first one was. Would that you second rather, one was amazing. Okay, so you're gonna eat the most delicious meal that Gordon Ramsay uh, made, uh, but he you vomit it uh, all up afterwards. Or you can lick Danny DeVito's butthole after he ate some Indian food. I'm gonna go with Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay puke. It's not that bad. I would do the butthole. <laughs> You because, would eat, really? What because, the fuck? Really? Because it's just <laughs> one puke or Danny DeVito's curry butthole. And All because right. it, it's just like a, t- a one second thing. You don't have to eat the asshole out. You just have to do one little lick and then it's over. But what the if he diarrhea is like shit, a whole so it's a wipe. full stamp. It doesn't lick. say that. It just says that he he had. It's he like ate a Indian big food. Manila envelope, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> How did you yeah. not suspect the twist coming? Yeah, you, this is your of own fault. Of course she, he's going to say, nah, you got to eat it like a fucking bowl of ice cream or something. Yeah, he's got the longest asshole ever in this particular scenario. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's like five inches. Fucking uh, Danny DeVito's <laughs> asshole is as long as his gooch. All right, moving on. All right, this is from Chelsea Rose. Would you rather take a full body swim in a full porta potty at a music festival or... Take a full body swim in a collection of human vomit. What is up with all the vomit? Jesus Christ. Enough vomit, people. Um, Disappointed. Yeah, Chelsea. <laughs> Quit letting Easy. me down. But there was some poop in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose vomit. You'd rather swim in a collection of human vomit? At least maybe the stomach acid will kill I me. I guess, yeah, actually, probably more realistically, I'm not swimming in anybody's poop. Vomit yeah. for sure. Well, no poop. poop, pee, and blood. Those are the collective <laughs> poop, of pee and blood. Yeah, those are the collective of things that you'd find in a porta potty. Yeah, but also like tissue and tampons, blue and chemical water. Yeah, blue chemical water. Empty shots of Fireball. Probably snot and like all kinds of oh, other yucky shit. Forbid, what the fuck that goes comes in out a porta potty? Yeah, I choose the vomit. I mean, you'd swim in vomit. Yeah, and again, maybe the acid will kill me. Vomit. This is uh, from Shelby Carico. Would you rather be forced to watch your parents have sex forever or join it? Oh, they already asked this shit. Damn it, Shelby. <laughs> Read God, the previous how many more comments. Are there? You've scrolled through. There's like God 20. damn. I got to pee so bad. Please. <laughs> let's let's just right, make it right, next. Right, I'm going to go with like like one two more. other people. All right. This is from Kevin Morris, who was previously on our episode. Would you rather be raped with a dagger dildo or fuck your mom with it? I'd rather fuck I'll, my mom with it. Would you She's rather old. murder yourself or your mom? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather commit suicide or would you rather Sepico, your mom? You pre- well, pre- God damn. I have always wanted to die, and I do love my mama. So I'm going to go dagger dildo in my butthole, sir. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now we need to take a left turn and have an interaction. <laughs> Rachel? <laughs> I don't even know. All right. I, Kylie B. Evans, would you rather eat an old homeless person's t- uh, toenails or snort a prostitute's dingleberries with their, from her ass crack? Oh, fuck. This is a good one. Mm. I do have to think on this one, Kylie. Wait, what was the question? Uh, would you rather eat an old homeless person's uh, toenails or snort a prostitute's dingleberries from her ass crack? Powerful uh, question, Kylie. I'm going to go with the toenails because I, I can toenails. brush my teeth when I'm I was done. But like, the same. I can't get the... Like, how are you going to cleanse how your you gonna dookie palate? You got to chew it up? And then you get the shit drips. I don't know if you've ever put drugs in your nose, but shit you get drips. what's called the drips because it goes into the back of your throat and it drips like... In, so you're getting dingleberry prostitute shit drips like in the <laughs> back of your throat and you just can't get rid of. I mean, I'm for sure eating toenails. Yeah, like with the toenail, I can just, you know, wash it with the side of something else. Like, just wash it down. Patrick yeah, Twist. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you, can't. <laughs> you actually choked to death. <laughs> the toenails They're are coated, coated in, in shit. Mold. 
All right, here's the last one. This oh one's probably. God. I gotta the, piss, man. Come on. This is the last one. one. It better be. Two. But last said two. You one. did two. Now you're doing three. Last one. Son All right. of a bitch. I'm gonna piss on myself during this podcast. This is from Mike Royce, and this one's pretty fucking gross. God, it better be good. Fuck off, Mike Royce. This is Would Mike you Royce. This, this, this is like my boyfriend. boyfriend. I hate you for contributing. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I love you, Mike Royce. I have nothing but respect. And this is horrible. Would you rather suck the pussy snard off your dad's dick after he fucked your mom? What the fuck? Oh, he talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, tongue hunt, tongue hunt his jizz out of her snatch. Well, wow. Michael. <laughs> well, Michael, this is how he talks all the time. <laughs> um, so, uh, fuck. Well, I guess. Would you rather have sex with your mom or your dad? <laughs> That's exactly what this question is. Well, phrased I'm... differently. <laughs> well, I'm floored. I'm floored on this question. So would you rather suck the pussy snort off your dad's dick after he fucked your mom or tongue hunt, tongue punch, I'm guessing, the jizz out of her snatch? I might do the, the dick because, and hear me out, I'm not inserting anything. I'm not, like, having sex with my mom's vagina in that, in that way. But it's you know, your it's mom's just, vagina and your dad's dick that you're inserting in your mouth. I'm not. No, I wouldn't be in. I'm snorting it. I thought oh, that's what snort, he said. Yeah. You're snorting no, it. It gets to your throat eventually, though. Su- you have to but, suck the as pussy. As I just described. But, but yeah, but re- regardless, you're going to be licking your mom's juices. So what difference does it make if you're ingesting your mom's Ew. juices in some <laughs> way? She said your either mom. way. So you're I'd rather your I'd rather juices. do that <laughs> in a way that is not oral sex. With I'm going to go with the one that says pussy snard. I think that's the first. <laughs> suck yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm I've going I've never heard of that term before. Snard. He's disgusting. <laughs> suck, the, suck the pussy snart off your dad's dick after you fucked your mom. Well, Mike Rose, uh, is it suck Royce, or or it sucks. Oh, okay, then that that puts a damper. The only thing that I'm logic. worried about with the dick snorting part is my dad's dick is pretty rotted by now. It's been ten years, so like <laughs> I feel like part of the dick would come with the pussy snart, and then like my mom's gonna Whoa. fuck my dead dad, and it's like, a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, it's a whole necrophilia thing. Do I got to watch first? And if Loophole. So, do I film it so I go viral? I mean, it's things that you got to consider, Mike. Oh, All right, can we well, end this fucking yeah, podcast? Can, yeah, I'm going to piss my pants. Let's uh, fucking put this Alex episode and Rachel, bed. thank you so much for coming on. Rachel, it's been so long since you've come on, so thank you for joining us again. Yeah. Uh, Alex, very happy you came out. Do you have anything you want to plug? No. No? No Myself. Instagram, no Twitter. Yeah. No. Me. No, what, what's your Instagram? Studio. I am Kawaii Tattoo. K-W-A-I-I underscore T-A-T-T-O-O. And then other than that, that's what I fucking use. I don't use anything else. Yeah. Follow her <laughs> and follow get me. tattooed. Or don't. Or don't. Whatever. Yeah. It's up to you. It's really your <laughs> look choice. Look at cool shit on my It's Instagram. on your body forever. So Yeah. Look at cool know. shit on there and tell me how much I suck. Well, that was a fucking great episode, folks. Don't forget to check out the shit talking cunts in between the covers. We got some amazing things to announce between our brothers over there at the STC. Powerful Joey O'Neill. We got some shit coming in December to be announced. All right. Thank you, ladies, so much for coming on. Thank you. As always, peace out, fuckers. Peace. Bye.